Welcome to Lawyer Episode which 53. Episode? Oh, I'm sorry. What we can restart? What are you saying? <laughs> well, I was just going to say which episode is it, and you were literally saying it as I was asking. It's 53. Why don't you just sit sit down and be quiet, okay? Class is in session. You need to raise your hand if you need to speak. Yeah, I brought my uh, <laughs> pencil, right? Brought my pencil! Just stole the joke. Alex said that 30 seconds ago before I clicked record. Now it's my joke. Hey, Teach, I learned this new dance in Fortnite. Oh, did you? <laughs> what, what, do you what do you call that dance? It's called Snoop's Walk. Is it it's now? Snoop's Walk. You should, uh, you should go Snoop's Snoop walk, walk your way down to uh, California. Go back home. Visit your parents. Walk like that when a, when a sucker get an attitude, you know? Sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Might get dropped like you're hot, buddy. <laughs> did you, did you no, see what? the people saying like, oh, dude, they definitely re-recorded the song because he's censoring the song in Times Square. And, no, it's just censored. They did not re-record no. that shit. I was Fortnite like, that's gangsta was party. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I if you didn't, uh, if you didn't already expect this, we are talking about Fortnite. So yeah, oh, again, you, just like last week, if you don't like Fortnite, you can click off. This is a Fortnite it's podcast. Okay. But we will tell. We'll we will probably else. get Stick around to the the other shit too. Is there anything there, else there important to speak shit. about? Maybe on November sixth, after the Tuesday that we vote for the president of the United States of America. <laughs> mm, I'm is not that... entirely sure, Jake. Oh. Okay, we'll continue to talk about Fortnite then. Okay. Okay. Season 6 dropped, guys. Fortnite Festival Season 6. And also Fortnite no, I, I, OG Chapter 2 Remix. Prelude. Yeah, I want to talk about that Times Square. They took over Times Square for that shit. That shit was awesome. And they kept yeah. it under that wraps. Nobody awesome. really knew about that. Until the until we, it happened. We, we, had, we had no idea. Like, contrary to what uh, people might think, we, we were clueless. <laughs> we nope, really no were. clue. We weren't in the cool, the cool party. I'm sure there were a few nope, people in the cool party. Time. Like, hey, you time. should come to New York on this day. And they're like, okay. But I could have yeah, driven and, there if I was told. I, I would have. <laughs> Man, they got oh, all yeah. of New York in on that too. Because hey, New York Times Wordle, you guys see the that Wordle shit? the Dude. day after was coincidence or not? The Wordle, oh, too convenient. The Wordle on the first day of season six was Snoop. Oh, that I was on. They they did that on purpose. Gotta Come be on. whether or not Epic Absolutely. Games told them to hey, you should change the Wordle. I don't feel. I feel like that's not a thing that Epic would have really cared about too much. I feel like that was just a New York Times thing. Because like, I think hey, that Times that Square, a you're tongue, here, fucking Snoop cheek. Dog. Yeah, pretty sick. I asked Julia yeah. if, if if she had anything to do with this, and never, I never got a response, which could <laughs> well, mean so something, well. or probably not. On, on, on Twitter, I feel like her and Kyle were kind of implying that they were actually surprised. By it. But, I saw like yeah, many no, saw... different people in in Epic saying Wordle, look at Wordle. Yeah, they weren't giving it away. Yeah, I saw yet. Kyle's yeah. tweet, and I was like, oh, and I was like, oh. and then I never actually checked out the Wordle, <laughs> which is why I was like, I asked it right now. But that's funny. I, I thought it was something else, but if it was actually Snoop... It was Snoop. It, it, it was Snoop. Snoop. Then, yeah, they were in on that shit, man. P, Snoop. Uh, yeah, no, there, there's no way that's a coincidence at all. Um, it's actually so yeah, funny no, because, I, hold I on, it, on Wordle so, Talk, this is this happened the day after Tim Walls tweeted out a picture of, of a Wordle. I already forgot what that word was. I'm scrolling through his page right now. But uh, Tim Walls thought there was some sort of Wordle that was... Uh, that was relevant enough to the campaign. Where the fuck is it? Oh, weird. <laughs> he was talking about uh, yeah. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was just he weird. Said, yeah, he said, "Yeah, he okay. got he got yesterday's Wordle in two. That's got to be a sign, people." Is what he said. That's epic. Mm. Moving past it, election stuff. Yeah, bro. No, no. Okay, one more thing to add on to that. It's like <laughs> in my streams as of late. It's just like, all right, man, who are you voting for? I'm like. Yeah, that is so forward. It was like, you know the number one that comes next to somebody's name when it's their first time, like, chatting? Yes. Or it's like a these first are, time These are chatter. first time chatters. First oh. time chatters going, Yo, all right, man. For? <laughs> all right, man. You Kamala can, or Trump, what are we doing? You, you, can, you, can, you can take, you can take the, the seven week, or the seven day timeout, pal. Don't come back for a while. Uh, that's, pro- that's probably no. happening all over Twitch, to be fair. It's probably not just you. Like, it's probably Who are you voting for? Right now. First time yeah, chatter, though, that's crazy. Hmm? That, that person just, like, just... Going through every category, finding finding streamers, say, "Hey, who are you voting for? Who are you just, voting for?" Yeah, That's to get out the vote yeah. effort. That's what they're doing in the final yeah, week. Maybe of it's just I mean, bunch of bots yeah. or like paid people. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I was gonna say it's mostly only during like Fortnite streams, so I think it's like they're targeting mm. the you know the the bots are going into the most populated games and just like oh, going you know, in. Going... There, there is a common Fortnite map. True, dude, that shit is a fever dream. I didn't go there, but the fact that I. it exists, I heard. I, I, heard I was already saying, well, to be honest, I was surprised. I don't know about like um, go it's actually well, I mean, violating epic terms of service. <laughs> that is that is what I saw. Yeah. What was it? The picture? It was the 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 trailer for it, and it was in the biggest 
the biggest like fucking um like the, dis- the, the, the disclaimer ever font like down below is like epic games has nothing to do with this this <laughs> yeah. is not endorsed like, by them way whatsoever way larger than, than, than the small print usually is <laughs> they wanted to make yeah. damn sure they, you they know epic games good. is not involved it's just our game <laughs> they can do whatever they want though <laughs> I hope that the players, the tools. I hope the yeah, UEFN I, creators that made that map got a bag. You know, I hope they got a bag. Yeah, I really do. Speaking of UEFN, did any of you get to check out the new Coldplay map? <laughs> Bro, I don't talk about this, Coldplay. please. What, what is a new Coldplay? <laughs> Coldplay map? <laughs> I'm interested. No, no, they, you should uh, not be interested. <laughs> it's it's bad. They were It's cooking. really bad. Uh, they used it as a way to promote their new album. Apparently, the new Coldplay they made album? a. There's a Coldplay tycoon. And let me tell you, there's no gameplay. You are just running in a line, and suddenly there's interviews of them playing that are literally like 10 decibels louder than any of the other audio. So you just get jump scared by Chris Martin, just like Bruh! out of nowhere. No, gotta... So it was put together by uh, the iHeartRadio people who make, um, they, they also make uh, maps for Fortnite for other artists. So it's just like, okay. It's, no, you got to talk about the minimal. driving mechanics, bro. <laughs> that it's was the minimal. best part. Yeah, there was a a ramp that I got in the car and went to drive up the ramp and ramp off of it, but you just drive right through it because the ramp's not even physical. Cool. Stop. Yeah. No stop. collision? No it's collision. Not, there's no car collision, Whoa. but if you're your yeah. character, it has collision. You can walk. Yep. yep. I'm looking at, like, screenshots and gameplay of this map. This is somehow worse than the Weezer map that came out in 2019. It's rough. <laughs> The it's Weezer really Fortnite rough. map has more life and looks way more cared about than whatever this shit is. iHeart, what are you doing? What are you guys doing? I feel like that was just part of the contract where like part of the negotiation was like part of the, the marketing was going to be a Fortnite oh. map. We're like, oh shit, guess yeah, we got to get that done. <laughs> what, what do we have? I found a tweet. Three hours? found a tweet. found a tweet promoting it. Here you go. Uh... Head to oh. iHeartland inside of at State Farm Park in at Fortnite game to experience our at Fortnite uh, or at Coldplay Moon Music album. Uh, yeah, okay. Wow, that is the State most Far- so, marketing speak tweet I've ever seen. That's a lot of hashtags. State a lot of Farm ads. Park. The map and feels iHeart. like corporate man vomit. So yeah, I guess cool. that makes sense. So, I mean, if it's going to be up. like corporate vomit, at least. Make it like kind of cool. Like, look at what fucking Fortnite Festival <laughs> does every season, man. At least have it be cool. Like, yeah. were, you know, were you able to I, complete it? No, no. It, yeah, um, it actually Christ. bugged out. It didn't work. There's right? um, yeah. there's a huge like gather all the coins at the end of the map after you've run around for like a half hour with no actual gameplay. You're just running in a line. Is that the XP coins and, you're supposed to get? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it's like, oh, get these coins. And there's like an obby that goes straight up. But for some reason, all the bricks in the entire map despawned for me. So you so, couldn't even do it. <sighs> no. It's just a waste of time. <laughs> Man, yeah. okay, so imagine having, imagine having like, you know, Coldplay, we're like, oh, we want to promote our album with Fortnite, that's so cool, and then, and then you got Snoop Dogg doing it like this, and then there's fucking Eminem and Ice Spice having their own points of interest on the map, too. I don't okay. even think Ice Spice or Eminem have an album coming out. They already yeah, released gotta, their shit earlier this year. We got Snoop Dogg's time. They, got to talk about what they pulled up because i think the people M&M. are really i think people are really undermining it hey the minigun you guys yes. see the minigun yes. the fact that Spits it shoots lyrics. rap god <laughs> i'm beginning to lyrics. feel like a rap gun that's amazing that's it so more good. or less confirms that we are absolutely getting an eminem song in Maybe fortnite more. festival probably but there's always a chance that it's just for this and nothing comes of this and we just get four uh, tracks. But, okay, listen, hear me out. It's a new season. I'm feeling optimistic. I think they're going to announce Rap God on yes, Tuesday. Yes, me too. I think they're going to announce Rap God. I think, I think God they're going to start with a bang. Because the, the, my, my merit to that, I was telling the guys before this, before we started recording, or I was telling Jason before we started recording, um, Eminem's Mom Spaghetti POI comes out on Thursday. Like, this mm-hmm. coming Thursday. So, Tomorrow, if you since you guys are listening to this today, it comes out tomorrow, and then the new songs come out tomorrow too. Yep. So I'm I'm assuming I'm I'm thinking that they're gonna they're gonna capitalize off the fact that this chapter two remix stuff, it's it's super hype. They're gonna try and keep as many people on as possible. So for the four weeks, we're gonna get bangers. I think we're gonna get bangers each week. So this week we're gonna get like some Snoop and probably some Eminem tracks, or probably like an Eminem three pack. That's that's my 
That's kind of my hope. And then the week after that, we're going to get an Ice Spice thing going on because um, her stuff is coming out. And then the week after is going to be Juice World on Juice World Day. Yeah, it, and he's it just concert, seems right. And he's that's that's what they're doing for regular yeah, BR. They're having right. a new artist every week. Why would they not follow it up with Festival? You know, it, it'd be a missed opportunity if they didn't, actually. I'd be surprised I, I think if they, they changed their game plan a little bit, actually. Maybe. I, I'm honestly so okay with this month being full of bangers mm-hmm. until Chapter 2 Remix is over. And then the next month after that, just being whatever or okay. Well, that's, or historically, that's no... been the case. You know, the first few weeks yeah. of every season is like the full of bangers. We had two Metallica only weeks in a row. That was heaven for me. For, for, and for, yeah, for, yeah, for us, it was, that was fantastic. Dude, people were tired of Metallica. It's they like, were too like, much where Metallica. the fuck is everything else? And I was like, it was the first time being on the other side of that going like, oh. Oh, you guys actually yeah, don't like, fuck with this. Oh, You guys weird. don't fuck with Metallica. Oh. Damn. This is so game they being did this, this popular, for me specifically. This guy here is why they're doing this. Me, fuck everybody else. It's it's me. This is what I like. In fact, I want the entire season to be Metallica only. They, they could have done it. Denmark. They love. Could've, us. They could have thrown four Metallica yeah. tracks Metallica. out for ten weeks in a row. 40, 40 Metallica songs. There's forty good Metallica songs out there. I would take it. You know what we got? You know what we got that season. We got Benga Boys, and we got <laughs> we got we got four weeks of mid. But then yeah, it, that, that was, started that was strong. Rough. Mid was shit, was rough, and it ended strong too. We got at the very end of the season. Don't forget that's what we got. We the got Guns three and more Roses Metallica tracks, too. right? And we got and we got another Metallica week too. We got batteries, seek and destroy, oh, yeah. and something yep. else late. No, seek and destroy was earlier. It was batteries, seek and destroy, and uh, fucking was it Sabbath True. Sabbath True. Oh, dude, that chart was fire. Too. I, that's my that's favorite Sabbath True. It's better than the Metallica one for sure. Way Absolutely. better, dude. Way Sabbath better. True is one of my favorite dude, Metallica been... songs. Period. I love that song. Uh, pivot, pivot. I've been playing guitar in Metallica, expert plush drums, and um, my my hardest. I got fucking fight fire with fire on. That's so crazy, up. man. That is probably the hardest. I'm gonna the hardest I've ever been after a drum. Nice, yeah. Yeah. nice, yeah. Good nice. segue. Into that shit was tough. Congratulations. And then my drum set started acting up, and then like I just yeah no, dude, that game is hard. You need breaks from that game. I don't know how I'm gonna tackle it, but I know I can do it. It just. Mm. That game is not for the faint of heart on on extra plush drums. Would you it consider that? The, would you consider that the hardest Guitar Hero drums full game FC in the series? Has it's, to be right. It's almost neck and neck. Well, because there's also Van Halen, and Van Halen fucking sucks. Sure. Like the charts on drums fucking suck, and there's fucking Painkiller, the Painkiller outro, Just as like well too. So <laughs> it's teacher. like a neck and neck, very very close oh, arms race between Metallica, Warriors of Rock, and Van Halen. I'd say, like, density-wise, I think there's, there's like, 93 songs in Warriors of Rock, mm-hmm. right? I think that, like, barely beats out, uh, that barely, I feel like it barely beats out Metallica, but Metallica, Metallica has, has, like, half Dyer's the songs. Eve War Ensemble. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, like, War Ensemble and Dyer's Eve. Like, those two songs alone. War Ensemble like, is, that that's gonna be a problem. War Ensemble is gonna be horrible, dude. Yeah, I mean, be look, listen, I, I think... I think I've gotten like good good enough streaks on the long double bass parts where I I can I know I can piece together a tech FC because like as long as you can piece together a tech FC you are you are in the runnings for getting a full song FC yeah because yeah. the tech just FC by, is just proving by, like, that it's theoretically logic. possible for you yeah 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 well, like, what about the what about the triple possible. kicks section of of War Ensemble like I, in I can I can suck it up I I have comboed like both of those in the song at once before I okay. I have done like good combos. Dun, 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 dun. That's fast. The, the, the parts, the parts that are hard are the fucking Dave Lombardo fill. <laughs> left handed. It's because he's left handed and everything like leads in with the left hand. Yeah, it's yeah. terrible. What's People worse though, so the, the War Ensemble fills or the Chemical Warfare fills? I think the War Ensemble fills. You're so you're very very tired, but then like Chemical Warfare, you're also very tired, but your legs aren't as tired. Aren't the I Chemical the ones fills, a bit more technical with moving between different yes. toms? Chem- chemical warfare uh, fills are a lot worse. If I remember correctly, the, the War Ensemble ones, like the first ones, like you're double stroking the blue and then hitting red with your like, left like hand, really fast your, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, War Ensemble is like you yeah. do it twice in the song. It happens twice: uh-huh. once before the once before the solo and once before the outro. Mm-hmm. It's like the bridge. So, it goes right before it goes yeah, into that bridge. Yeah, section. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I've it, seen it, these. it's the part that goes. Yeah, that part. We can do a full. I love that guitar chart. I love that guitar chart. Some people might not agree with me, but it's a good ensemble. Yeah, I think it's pretty fun. I always thought it was good. 
it's awkward because of yeah. some of those weird strumming pieces, but once you once you learn it, it's fine. I think yeah. that's what like kind of got my obsession with the I do that on Yo, every is that beyond the flame? That I... Yeah, yeah. Even <laughs> even on Beyond the Flame, it's either the herda where I'm doing like the bleed, yeah. the bleed pattern, or I'm doing oh shit, I'm hitting enter a bunch of times. <laughs> I got unplugged. <laughs> you on keyboard mode? <laughs> I was on keyboard mode. So you're yeah. doing the so you're not doing di not doing bleed. You're doing chemical yeah, warfare. Sometimes, or, uh, I, war sometimes I do or uh, or it's fucking bleed where it's like. So it's I don't know, man. I just love playing gallops on strum bars. Very nice. Me too. It's very, very fun. Satisfying. Yeah. I'll do I this for the rest of the episode. Too. Fuck it. Just kidding. <laughs> hey, speaking of playing, Jake, I fell asleep. <laughs> what? Oh. Again yeah. I'm so excited to get that back. Yeah. Those very green excited frets to get that nice shit back. With the, with the, with that the, was his idea. The so. Yeah. That looks so sick. Yeah. So, that was his like, idea. Yeah, from all the guitars that I got from JP, uh, like, I, I wanted this to have the Destroyer feel back with it. Yeah. But, because, like, I'm, I'm kind of shifted away from the whole floral look. Um, but, like, I still it wanted look. it to stand out. Uh, and you have, and the, like, you have the cool off port. <laughs> oh, I Dude, love that, that thing. So I love yeah. it. It's I like so great. Great. It is so You should cool, explain to man. the people what that is, JP. All right. So you saw that that was a USB port, the back. This is how basically we used to that, do it. Yeah, and now we have the new way. So basically, if you, if you have a Santroller-based guitar, like, I mean, mine, that I actually recently fixed. Damn, that's time since so nice. Used this thing. Um, Damn. So uh, if you have a stock Xbox 360 and you're like, wow, I want to play the old guitar. That would be really, really cool. But I don't have a hacked Xbox. Well, you don't need one. You just need an Xbox controller that you can plug into that port. And it, it, it says to the Xbox, hey, look at me, look at me. I'm a guitar. And it's like, oh, okay. And that's it. So if you want to play Rock Band 4 on your uh, your Xbox oh, Series X oh, or S. Shit. We're good. We're good. Good, bro. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I was about to. I was about to do a little demonstration of how terrible it it, it looks. Ha having all the chords coming yeah, out. Yeah, it's shit. not. It's not great, man. It's like, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, this is what we were doing before. The little handshake, little handshake for authorization. Yeah, Basically see now, having one big dongle coming out. Now and it's now, like that. JP, JP, who who who, who actually uh, came up with that's... this idea? So. The way that this came about is that I was in the Santroller Discord. Um, this Xbox is on? This is connected to my Xbox. What's it doing? What the hell? Hold on. What's it doing? <laughs> this is on. Really? I, just, I, I plugged in the controller into my, into my thing, and it, it just turned on. It just turned my Xbox on when I, when I off the controller. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it does that. It does. It does? I didn't know it, it did that. Power. Yes. It I've, never, power. Yeah. I've never turned my Xbox on by authorizing a controller. Whatever. That's yeah. Wild. Wild. It, it it did that when I did it with the uh, uh, the retrical mods V three. I, I plugged. I, did, it I didn't leave it. Pl I didn't believe V3. it plugged in enough for it to actually work though. So we're, we're clear. <laughs> Neat. So, Santroller server. Somebody came up with the idea of doing that same thing, but with a, a USB C, so they could use it to plug in their actual controller. And I saw that shit, and I was like, "Oh my god, that would be perfect for off." So I hit up Fact Three D. Shout outs to James Jim at Fact Three D. He makes a Riffmaster pick guards. Um, and they're fantastic. They yeah, they so are good. fantastic. And, they're so nice. And so Jim is way better at CAD design than than me. Like he's just better at three D model. So I hit him up because we already had a three D printed battery cover that we both like worked on together. And I was like, dude, this would be insane for off. And he made it happen. He sent me a design. I tested it out, and I was like, dude, like this is it. So he figured it out. So shout outs to the original person who came up with it in Sandtroller. I don't know your name. But shout outs to Jim for making the idea like become a reality. Because that's yeah, the hardest part. It out. That's the hardest part. Yeah, who, is making, whoever came up yeah. with it, please come forward. We we yeah, do want to recognize as many people who contribute great ideas. Yeah, because um, I, I I was like, oh my god. So in, in Wii guitars, like um, you're not gonna like it's still gonna be a cable, but it's gonna be like zip tied. I zip tie it to the remote cover. Um but it's not going to be as elegant, fortunately. But for the battery cover guitars, because most of them don't come with battery covers in the first place, 
it's True. a really it good solution. all the time. It's a, a lot of times really you really have to print solution. one. So yeah, and then honestly, printing them wasn't that reliable because I would get guitars where it would fit perfectly and it was easily removable, and then I would oh, yeah. get guitars where <laughs> yeah. that shit would not come off. It would not come off. Oh, not come off! I it had would one that wouldn't off. stay on. It wouldn't yeah, stay I on. I got that was, that I had one from old, you. That was I didn't yeah, make that yeah, yeah. That was from Thingiverse, dude. It was, that was I know, blue, it was I know. You one, didn't even right? make that shit. It was the blue. It one. was just like a hey, I just. It was some random guy that made one. It was like you lose your battery covers, you can make one right here. Oh, it doesn't mm. fit. Oh, it's falling off. It broke. Uh oh. <laughs> That's the cool, the cool I'm, part I'm, about that yeah. uh, that battery cover, the new one, is that it's so uh, small and elegant. If you have a small and elegant little dongle, such as this one that Noah sent me, Retro Cult Mods, yeah, he I sells these I on his website. Hey, I have one too. He sells these on his website. Uh, yeah, I also have one. He probably doesn't like. He doesn't want to like publicize it too much because he doesn't have great supply yet. But this is a thing that exists. He's and, trying uh, to figure it out. Yeah, yeah so he's just working imagine on you have a guitar. Supply. Imagine you have a guitar, and it's just like this forever. Perfect. It's always off. Forever. You never have to deal always with it. You just, you just you just plug that shit in, and it yeah. works. And it's That's like you have so to. Cool. I, you have to kind of wiggle out told, a little bit, but it does come out. I have been told that these also exist for Xbox One. They do. Yeah, these small types of things, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. you could yeah, use a, a GH Live guitar dongle. It's bigger than this, but also oh, still yeah, fairly I still, small. I still got that around here somewhere. And you want to know and, what's and funny? We'll be able to have it stick out, too, is that, on the battery cover one. Yeah, you can. You can. So this was, uh, Mayflash was the original manufacturer, because they always find a way to find relevancy again. But uh, Retro Call Mods is having a problem finding more, is the issue. That's the problem. Well, the reason why it was like, Mayflash did it for the fighting game community. They did. For, their, for like, custom fight sticks. So they, they've they already been very much many steps ahead when it comes to custom controllers on stock yeah. consoles and just, like, using that shit. They always find a way through. Um, just, but then, like, in, it's crazy. in comes, it's just, in comes it's, it's us a... with the very, very unique guitar controller with a very unique, like, set of rules that needs that need to be met by specific games. And, like, we have only made that breakthrough in the last year and a half or so. Yeah, so very so, new. And so, like, we're, we're, kind of in, we're kind of in our, our golden age, and we're kind of nearing, like, somewhat endgame for this, this type of kind shit. Kind of. Somewhat. And, and the reason that we're, like, like, the reason we're different than, like, the fighting game community is because you can just, you can hook up, like, a fight stick to this thing, and you're fine, because it looks like, like a controller. The game expects a controller, a regular standard controller. Guitar Hero and Rock Band games are expecting a guitar, con- I just dropped it, expecting a guitar controller. <laughs> so you, you can't, like, this right here, it would show up on your Xbox as a standard controller. But yeah. if you if you just, like, somehow connected something to this dongle, you couldn't play Guitar Hero World Tour with it. It would, it would be, you'd be looking for a microphone, because it's a, it's a controller. So the reason that this works for us is because we're con- connecting it to a uh, Sandtroller based guitar, so that tells the thing that it is a guitar and it just works. So that's that's a unique solution or a new, yeah. unique problem that we needed to find a unique it's, solution for for, for our silly guitars. Crazy. It's Once again, crazy. it was it's yeah, and and for listeners who aren't really who uh, need a refresh on what like authorization is like the Sandtroller guitars, it's a guitar, it's a guitar controller, but then when you plug in an official Xbox controller into that USB port into that USB port on your Santrola guitar it's a little handshake it's a, the passing of the tag so you can get into the building mm-hmm. that's what it is so yeah it i I think like end game would end game would just be like you plug it in that's it or you plug it in while holding down the button that's it which we're kind of there we're kind of there when it comes to Pretty Fortnite much. festival like all I have to that's do easy. to use this guitar on my PlayStation 5 for Fortnite festival I hold down start when I plug it into the USB. And then that it works. Is orange. And what does so holding mindset. down start do for you? It turns it into a keyboard, correct? It turns keyboard. it into a keyboard. It turns so it, it works into a on keyboard literally and it functions. It works on Switch. It's it works so on good. Nintendo. Well, actually, you know what? No, no, Nintendo Switch doesn't support keyboard. So really? I would have to bind it to Nintendo Switch oh. Pro Controller. Oh, he added so I would that, use too. a random fret. He added I didn't know that. Just, he did. For, yeah, for the three amazing. people that play it, interesting. Also, yeah. sure. he, added, he added an iOS mode for Fortnite Festival in Central. Yeah, yeah. future proofing. Does that work? They're, they don't even have Pro on it, right? It's future proofing. Uh, it's yeah. future proofing. It's just Once for the future. They do ready it, for it. It so work. whenever it's there, Holy it'll work day one. Yeah. Oh, Yo, I love that. That's, that's incredible. Great. It's incredible. And I think, so yeah, bad. once Android adds Pro Mode 2, 
All we have to do is tell Epic, hey, can you put promo? Can you flip the switch for pro mode? On, We're ready. On, uh, we got our shit figured out. Just yeah. turn it on, please. <laughs> We're fine. We, just yeah. we made it. it work for you. <laughs> we are good. The community always finds a way. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming <laughs> they always find a way. The biggest thing they're waiting for, most likely, is some sort of new guitar that's not just a custom that's being manufactured that's easy to get that's available for use on mobile right then, yeah because you can't, can't use Riftmaster on that thing unless you get some it sort of weird like usb c to a adapter to plug OTG. your dongle into but then you'd have yeah. to like yeah otg adapters yeah uh, hey yeah. pro drums on Dude, that's what i when <laughs> that's what i used for clone <laughs> hero when it came out when it leaked on yes. android you remember that shit mm-hmm. i don't even oh, know yeah. how it leaked i think there's like some internal test that like there, yeah. matt was Matt was like, ah, I wanna, I wonder if I can build it for Android. Oh shit, it works. Let me, let me try and fix it up, optimize it a little bit, and then it leaked on like a Spanish Guitar Hero Facebook Facebook page or something. Of course, and then, it did. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, and then yeah. I was like, and then yeah, no, I, I bought a Galaxy S. Oh god, it was like a S7 or a S8. Oh shit, like 30, at, at the time, like that's thirty dollars. I think it was like a, yeah, S7 or S6. It was one of those, and then. I bought it for thirty dollars off of Facebook. I picked it up, and then I got it, and I was like, "All right, it's time to get this to work." And I, I've seen like "Cry for Eternity" trolls on it, and I was like, "This <laughs> is phone. this is definitely something. It is something. Is it exists. Something. something you can do. Yes, yeah, something you can do. And there are people that legitimately play Android Clone Hero, so good for them. Hell yeah, they have more. Have they wanted them to fix it for a long time, and then they finally said, "Fine, we'll fix it." It took a long time. And you know what? The the Clone Hero Android version is actually helps out with people playing on Chromebooks. It yes. just oh. runs APKs. Oh, natively, just yeah. runs APKs. Interesting. So it, you're you're that bitch ass kid in school with a Chromebook, and you want to play some Clone Hero. I swear go to God, it. if you're in school doing this, you need to stop. I kill you. If somebody hasn't told you to stop, I'm already, just kidding. Actually, I'll I tell you to stop you. right now. You can't be doing this in the back of class when people are trying to listen to a fucking lecture. You are being a nuisance, you know and you what? must stop. I remember there was a, a unless it was like like end of the year testing and there's like no nobody taking any more tests and it's just like we got to kill time while the teacher is just grading or whatever and te- teach is just fucking zoned out like grading and whatever and then you bring your Chromebook to school and you have your guitar or whatever not this kind of guitar bit too loud this is a Riftmaster situation that's a much better use case for Riftmaster that thing's yeah, pretty quiet I remember a Reddit I remember a Reddit post of somebody. With bringing their Wii guitar with a raft net to school, and then they're just like, it was like around like May, June, so it was like end, oh, of, the end year. of school, yeah. <laughs> end of the year. That this is valid, I, I think. Appropriate, I sure. I could never but, do that yeah, if, no. in high school. I could never be that guy if I br- if I brought a guitar with me to school and started clicking around in the hallway or whatever. I would be so deathly like anxious and nervous that somebody's gonna make fun of me for it, and I'm being loud and annoying. Yeah, that's, no, that's the that's social anxiety I... for you. Oh yeah, no, I, I I never did that. I could never do that. People, all all the guitars that I ever had ever. No, I save guitar here no. for when I'm at the ho- when I'm with the homies. Yeah. I'm hanging with the homies. Yeah, at their house or whatever. Then that's when I'm playing guitar here with my friends. I respect people, people that just don't give a single fuck bro. though. Either they're lacking they're social awareness they're or they're just yeah. like I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. Whatever. Care. That's cool. I wish I was like, more power to them. But I'll tell you this though: if I was walking through the hall- the halls in a high school and somebody was just there clicking around on their guitar, I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you here doing this? We're at school. Why would you like play be playing a guitar at school? That's that's odd behavior. But that I don't know. Maybe, I maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I I wouldn't be able to do that. I couldn't do it personally. No way. Even if I went back in time, I'd just be like, no, no, absolutely not. I don't. I don't want to go back. Don't separate. take me no back to high school, way. man. No thanks. Hold on. Don't, no, thank yeah, don't take me back to high school. I, no I saw an interesting. Yeah, you ever you ever like get the Reddit threads suggested to you that are like on like hypothetical questions or whatever r slash hypo- hypothetical questions. Almost every single like r slash hypothetical questions question is written by like probably a fourteen year old. You can just tell by the like their writing style and the way the things are like phrased or whatever. But I saw one like today, yesterday. It doesn't matter. Recently, that was like, would you rather? Uh, go back to when you were 14 with no knowledge of, of like the past however many years it's been since you were 14 and like redo life or would you rather get $10 million today? <laughs> those aren't even related. No. Those are like, <laughs> okay. what, that's, that's a very yeah, odd but... either or, but I would choose the $10 million today because if I go back to when I was 14 and then nothing changes, I'll be exactly where I am right now anyways, right? Yeah, exactly. Nothing's yeah, changing. I would just I have, have to no do it all over again. I would just be doing Ground it over again. 
I'd be right here, exactly the same as where where I where I am now. So I'll just take no. the ten million dollars today. Thank you very much. That's enough to live on. I don't have to work a day in my life. Four percent returns every year. It's four hundred thousand dollars. If I have a, if I have one percent <laughs> return on my investment, bam, hundred k high yield savings account, and you're set for life. Dude, ten ten million ten million dollars. You put one million away, and like you just put a yeah. million away, and then that that's it. Just have that build interest, and then you just go fuck around with like no, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and then I you're take just that you're money. Good. I take that money. I would build a completely separate part of the house for my cat to hang out. That ass, dude. You can you can, you can buy your house. You can buy a brand. You can buy a mansion. Well, not, not yeah, much of a mansion. Yeah, you can make in mansion. Area. Speaking speaking of mansions, uh, have you guys seen what what Kai Senad is doing? Uh, yeah, He's doing his mafia I thing. I, I know did where you're going what, with this. Did, did you see what happened? I did. So this it turns out, yes. what, so he got swatted, swatted or some but, shit. But the, oh, I can tell, okay. I can tell you right. why. I can tell you why. Because it turns out that the mansion that he rented is next to Diddy's mansion, where he got arrested. Yeah. And he didn't know. He did not oh, know. That's he was crazy. unaware. The realization yeah. clip that I saw of him finding out on stream was crazy. It's was very crazy. real. Yeah. yeah. Also, he Bro. hired NPC Miles Morales to read his fucking shit. I saw that shit. <laughs> yeah. That dude, dude, dude does it guys, uh, no, but nobody's that doing great. it like him. No, nobody's, nobody's, doing, nobody's doing it like I. Nobody's. Doing I think it like I saw. Him. I saw a yeah. clip of him uh, with Miranda Cosgrove, and yeah. she's at an iCarly podium. Yeah, Kai like, Carly. You know what? That I feel like that's it. It's like modern. I, there's iCarly and then modern iCarly. That's what it is. Like it's what that it is. is literally Kai's what it is. Had has had Ice Spice on too. Mm-hmm. He's had a couple of yeah, bro. Yeah, I saw a little Uzi on there, man. But I think that they're both from. They're both from New York. You know, like the yeah. Bronx. So, some shit. Some Bro, part, Fortnite, some, some Ice Spice. Yeah, Fortnite. Yeah, Fortnite Ice Spice. Yeah, we got Ice really Spice. derailed from that. We were like, sorry guys, we're going to talk about Fortnite. Then we did not talk about Fortnite. We talk about, well, we, we just filtered out all the a people who don't bit. really care. We filtered all right, out guys, all, we're gonna all talk the about fake Fortnite fans. now. All right, Gee, I'm going to get my yeah. prediction in right now then. I'm going to sneak it in. Here's my prediction. For Juice World, we're going to be one year into Festival because Big Bang was December 2nd last year. And they're timing Juice World. What happened in Big Bang? We got that that big Eminem doing Godzilla. Juice World's on the track. That's the one year track. Come on, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. They're timing it, Juice World. It World's is a remix. That would be Just really saying. nice. The whole thing be is really nice. remix based. You know, similar but different. I'd love it. That'd be so sick. We're getting a Juice World concert. Apparently, that's supposed to be the finale. That'll be uh, pretty wild. It almost I'd seems like see it. I was gonna say it, that's the that's the like second second skin of somebody who's passed away, right? Who's the first? Uh, I don't the know. The first if guy was that. There? It was that like uh, he's like dressed up as a bee. I don't know his. Fucking Wasn't that like? Um, I feel like there was something different about that though. I know, like, cause it it's just kind of like he's like an icon in I in, like their country or something, or I don't know what it was. Was that given away but, for free? Because the juice no, World's no, it was in the shop. Being, yeah, that, in the shop. Juice, juice be being free is unbelievable. Wait, Juice World's gonna be free? oh, that's awesome! I didn't know yes. that Juice World. I didn't know that. Free. Be free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, if you log cool. in on the last day of November, it's a one day thing. As long as you log in during that time, you get it for free. Yeah, because that's Juice World Day, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. it's pretty damn cool. Didn't know that. That is fucking cool. Yeah, is there I, anybody the, that's the reaction been... has been really nice to that? Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of stuff cool about, about that. Yeah, I saw I saw a clip of I Show Speed. Was like, is that X? I think it was X X X Tentacion. <laughs> he will not be in the game. No, I can tell you that. <laughs> no, that happening. dude will not be in the is, game. Is there anyone that that's happening. become an outfit in Fortnite that has died afterwards? I don't think so. I'm looking because it's kind of I like think it's so. been a thing for like seven years at this point. It's almost surprising that that hasn't been the case yet. That somebody's just I know it, it is a little bit dark to think about. But like I'm I'm going back and I'm thinking. Okay, so there's like there's John Wick, there's Keanu Reeves, there's Andrew Lincoln, The Walking Dead, uh, like there's fucking Ninja and all these other streamers. Um, there's Mr. Beast. There's, I mean, uh, I, I guess I guess Roy. these do kind of well, trend young, and young people tend not to die as frequently as older people. But regardless, I mean, like I mean, there's John Cena. John Cena's uh, in the game. There's LeBron James. Sure. No Kobe. Will Smith. There's Harrison Ford, technically. True. I'm just like, That's um, him. Yeah. True. That is him. Uh, he's not dead yet. He's, he's just not old. dead yet. He's just a very old guy. Wait, wait. Uh, Princess Kimmy Leia. Shimmy. She's no, dead. That's a young guy. She, she... No, she's not in the game, though. She's Princess not? Leia? She's not? No. 
Who the fuck? No. Who the fuck's in the game that looks like Princess Leia? It's then? uh Daisy Ridley. It's fucking Ray. I could have sworn From there's the a new... Princess Leia. Uh, hold on. Princess Car- Leia Fortnite. I'm looking it up right now. Oh wait, no, she is in the game. Fake fan. Yeah, Carrie, Carrie Fake Fisher. fan. When did Carrie, Carrie Fisher, Fisher die? It's Carrie been a Fisher while. died in 2016. That was it's before Fortnite. I was gonna say that was that was definitely that definitely predates it for sure. But it's not a character. Okay, Fisher so that's skin. a third it's posthumous just, skin then. Yeah. It's yeah. it's just her character. It's not actually. Yes, her. It's, it's Princess yeah, Leia. It's not speaking, Carrie Fisher. We're speaking technicalities. Still. I mean, yeah, Juice World. Juice World is an artist, but is it really what's his name? Jared something. Well, is, yeah, you yeah, know? and I, I suppose, supposedly that strikes me as something different. Though, I haven't. Uh, I don't know. I haven't heard specifics, but I think that this is supposed to be like an anime inspired skin that they're doing for free. Oh, kind of similar to the so, the the, uh, the old okay. Snoop Dogg so. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you saw it in the teaser. It, that doesn't look. Oh, yeah, yeah, that that doesn't look like anime to me. I don't know, but we'll mm-hmm. see. We'll see what happens. Is it like cell we'll shaded? Find out. No, I didn't see it cell shaded. I'm watching the preview right now. I think like, they're supposed not to... cell shaded. Here's the thing: there, I think there's two skins. I think they're selling one and they're giving one for Ooh. free. But I'm not 100 uh, percent on that either. That so be. that would make sense if that's the case. They do a lot. Of, they do that a lot with artists. I mean, look how many skins Eminem has now too, right? Because they're getting the new yes, ones with four. Him. The yeah. Four of them, man, and not a single song in the game. Not a single song. Soon, Crazy. soon. Not Have faith. Song. Even We're... Rap God Godzilla. Yeah. Come on, it's got to. That's not got a question. Rap God Godzilla. Lose yourself. Give us that. Like those oh, three. Please. Those three right here. Not a question. Is there any other like music artist who has an outfit in the game that does not have a song in festival yet? Bruno Mars doesn't have enough. Anderson Pack technically has zero. True, Anderson Pack, yeah, but that's technically Silk Sonics, which is it's still there's no oh, yeah, Silk, it Sonic is Silk Sonic song. Sonic, in the so game. Bruno, Bruno Mars does not have a skin. <laughs> right, well, no, right. Bruno Mars is part of Silk Sonic, but like Silk yeah, Sonic, yeah, the yeah. band or the the, the the group does not have yeah, a song. Yeah, there's no it. Silk Sonic. All the Nitrodrome songs that they teased them all. That's true. And then like, yeah, four, a lot of them didn't come dude, out. Dude, that yet. was like the biggest. Ball tug and rip off and twist of my life, dude. For real. Oh, I mean, okay. I think based on what happened, <laughs> you wanted to say that, huh? <laughs> Billy Eilish. I'm just saying, man. There are so many good songs in the Nitro Drum. Not Billy, a single one came out. But, well, they had they all they the Billy Eilish song after her season. So who the fuck knows? Judy's we had Priest? Hail to the King, but I wanted Woman. I what was it? Cherry Bomb was in there. Yeah. Baby Metal was in Baby there. Baby Metal, give me chocolate. Yeah, what was the Judas Priest song? Uh, breaking, breaking the law, the law was in there. The law, we yeah. were all so hyped for that shit, man. Come on. Nothing. Ooh. Nothing. Never, never got hit the lights. Um, Praying. I don't know, man. There's it. been some little teases, and then we've not seen anything from them. Yeah, well, what was it? The uh, the ID uh, database got updated so that Yo, it was 500 yeah. long. Ideas. The realistic, the realistic answer is that they're, you know, they're just expanding the song base so that they could just add more. But the real shit is, is are we going to get 170 songs? <laughs> yes, I actually <laughs> saw it in the files. Every single Rock Band 1 song, every single Rock Band 2 song, and all of In Human Rampage. I saw it in the files. It's true. It's coming to Fortnite this season. Wow, man. Big That's season. Amazing. It is Rock Crazy. Band 5. Glad you found Crazy, that. bro. Mm-hmm. No way. I, I looked it up. Uh, Dragon Force discography, not 170 songs. It's 125. Fuck. Close. I was like, fuck! Right, well, release, I mean, like, that, that, means, albums, that means it's going to be like 40 songs by somebody else. Well, that, that's going to be 40 <laughs> remixes of the originals, right? They're going to re-record Oh, true, 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 true. Remix. Yeah, the 2025 remix. It's going to have the 2025. It is. Okay, so well, right I'm, now, it's still the looking season, at. So, I mean, maybe it's going to happen right John away. John Cena doesn't have any songs in Fortnite Festival. It's true. He is a musical artist. He also, is a musical also artist. DJ Diesel does not have any songs in the, in the, in the game. Shaq. That's true. All right. Oh, here's yeah. here's another prediction for for the next week that I hope comes to pass. We'll have another episode before this happens. But the Arcane season two premiere is about to happen. Heavy is the crown. And Arcane, Ooh, imagine. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. Arcane has done a mashup with Fortnite before. Three years we got, ago, we got the Jinx vibe. It's been about a thousand days. Ooh. Could we see a Bro. return? I was going to say, give us some Pentakill, give us some Arcane soundtrack. Yeah, yeah Pentakill would be perfect, man. If there's Pentakill, it'd be perfect. if there's Deathfire Grasp, that's about I'll as be, close as we can get to happy. Dragon Force until it's we really true. get Dragon Force. That'd be so sick. Just saying, because we're talking League of Legends, we, we brought, brought up Heavy's The Crown, the new Linkin Park song. The mm-hmm. new Linkin Park album comes out November 15th. So if it's like a couple weeks from now, Ooh. I mean, Thursday before that's the 14th. 
So, so maybe it's okay. it's lining up. Oh, maybe wow. there'll be some Linkin Park from the new album this season. Another early release. I don't, like I don't been doing. think we're gonna get Linkin Park right away. That would be really cool if we got It'd Linkin Park right sick. away. But I'm I'm also thinking that after Chapter Two, like Chapter Two remix, after that, then that's when it's gonna go up. I really think that they're gonna go out for these next couple of weeks and just stick to the artists that they're releasing in Battle Royale. That's what I think is gonna happen. I think that's the smartest thing for them well, to do. What were the songs that were in the let shop? Me down with this shit. The only the only songs that were new to the shop this week were Snoop Dogg songs, correct? No, there no, were more. no. What was, was new? Well, what uh, else was in the shop? That was in the Regulators, shop. Regulators, mount up. Yeah, okay. buddy. Never mind, Ooh, buddy. We also I, got a. Uh, what was it? Was it? Um, bounce back, right? Yeah, last night. That was also a shop. And That's a okay. I, I, that, I, I, wait, hold on. Isn't that in the music pass? Is that premium in the music pass? That's what that I was might wondering. That is in the music pass. What that is, is in the music pass. There was uh, something else in the store, wasn't it? it uh, regulate. It was regulate. Ballin. Drop it like ballin. it's hot. Ballin. Ballin. Yeah. That's what it was. I put the new fog. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah never mind. Ballin. The songs that were in the music pass uh, for the premium rewards were cranked at. Uh, bounce back you! by by, by uh, Big Sean, and then also robbery by Juice World. See, all the other ones were shop ones. I was wrong. I thought it was just Snoop in the shop with Beautiful God. and uh, Drop Like It's Hot. I was this incorrect. Is gonna, this is a big season for the controller lovers, man. Like I, I yes. think I think that for for vocals and for drums, it's the vibe. Vocals will be big this season. It's drums massive, per, per, uh, potentially depending on the song. Yeah, for, for yeah. I drums. mean, like right. Regulate is awesome on drums. It's I, I so think that good. Yeah, no, I, play, I played yeah. them all on, on pad drum, and they're, they're fun. Like, this That's is going to be a really good Alex pad season. Try. Dude, I'm yeah. just trying to, like, you know what I'm trying to look at it? Like, you know, I'm trying to change my perspective with this season because all this time we've been, like, we want better pro lead stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I don't play pad enough. Like, I need to, like, really give it more of a try. And... I, like when I was playing the new season yesterday, I played pro lead for a little bit to see if the engine felt better. It felt slightly better. We'll get to that. But I just started playing on pad. And I was like, you know what? I'm having way more fun with this game on pad than I am with a guitar. I'm a it is real. something new. It's just it's yeah. more of a casual thing yeah. for me though. It's if, if it's more of just yeah, like well, yeah, I, fuck it, I'll hop on. I'll just click around a few times. You know. I got yeah. mad Absolutely. because I was like, damn, I want to play this show on my iPad, and I can't. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I went. I went to the website. It's like it's Very like. Soon. Sorry, buddy, you're not in the European Union. And I'm like, check again. I just logged into my cool. VPN. Ugh. Hate it. You can but sign yeah, it, right? It's gonna be a fantastic. I, I've pad always season. been a. I've always been like a big advocate for playing on pad, and especially on on default controls because I just don't fuck with analog triggers. Yeah, I was doing, doing default OG layout. I didn't realize There's this until, until Fortnite person. Festival came out. But like the the original like Guitar Hero controls using all this. Bad. I don't like it anymore. This is a way better just, thing to do with the face buttons and the in the, the D pad. It's a better way to to to, to, to well, align see, file. So the but OG layout was meant for this. Yeah. yeah digital. But, yeah. This ain't, this ain't that good. Digital. No analog and none Pass none of the now. worst bumpers I've ever used in my life. Yeah. Mm. All right. Not great. The worst well, actually, bumpers ever wasn't the PS2 used. controller analog and the, the everything else is well. I guess these are analog, but the other shit was digital. Because well, I mean, every, I, bu- yeah, every, I said, every button on the PS2 controller was analog. Everything. Yeah, not the oh. not the DualShock Three, where no. it had those shitty triggers. DualShock Three was terrible, ass. man. Well, wait. I remember the first it was time the six-axis one I, that I, I had. The six-axis yeah. one. That shit was ass. That, it was so light, it felt like a toy. A the motion control. Yeah, I thing a thing that definitely Fortnite, got used like frequently in, in every game ever on the PS3. Oh Dude, wait, it came I out like two games ever. Twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen. I used like a contr- I used X three sixty C E for this. And I like won a Fortnite game with it. I'm like, man, this is fire. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> it is PS2, actually fire. DualShock two. DualShock yeah, two PS2 is, controller. DualShock two is one shit. of the best controllers ever made. I don't it's, like mine. It's the shit. Maybe it's just mine. No. I've never really liked it because I think it might be the analog buttons. Like for whatever reason, a lot of, like a lot of games I used to play required like a certain amount of force used to to even actuate. I felt like I had to really fucking push those buttons down. Could be my controller thing. Only I've yeah, really used one PS2 controller. controller. It's the only one I've ever had. It's right over there. Never had a different one. Love PS2 DualShock, man. DualShock 2 is goaded. So good. Shit. I think DualShock nothing, 5 nothing, is Nothing, nothing even comes close used. unless I think like the DualSense is like my favorite right, modern DualSense. controller. Yeah, DualSense is... I really still haven't good. used one. Or or if uh, I want to do a USB-C mod for a DualShock 4, then that would be goaded. Yeah. USB-C on that yeah, that'd be cool. would be insane. That would be like my forever controller. 
Mm. And I, I think I have one that's like drifting, so I'm like gonna open it up and fix it. Yeah, can place it. Some shit. Place those analog easy. sticks. Very, and... It's very. It's got to be very. I don't know. I haven't opened so, up a controller to do like mods like that shit since I was 2010. Getting a rapid fire mod for so I can shoot my FAL really quickly in Modern Warfare you know, Two. You know what's funny? I actually did open up my series controllers so that I can put an RGB mod inside of it. Oh, uh, interesting. It was fucking cool because, like, you hold oh. down, like, the start button for, like, five seconds, and then, like, that's what turns it on. Uh, you the put RGBs? in batteries, and it automatically powers on, but you can turn off the lights if you hold down start for, like, ten seconds or something. Cool. But, cool. like, you can have it be, like, a solid color, or you can have it cycle between, like, specific colors. It's actually really cool. Um, I, I want to say... It was a kit that was maybe like fifteen bucks on Amazon. That's not bad. And it was for a series. It was for a series, and it came out like the same Good. year uh, that huh. these consoles all came out. Didn't know that was a thing that existed. Yeah, yeah I didn't know about it until my brother. Know? My brother mentioned it to me. I'm like, oh shit, this is kind of cool. I like lights. So I did it to two controllers. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. RGB lighting is really cool. Holy but, shit. Uh, I, I will say that the analog sticks felt like doo doo dog shit garbage <laughs> after maybe like a couple of months. Oof. But it it looks cool. It looks cool. Hey, hey, it looks it looks over everything. The Croy brothers, the Croy. Shout out to look. Yeah. Still, hey, still, yeah. still a polar C4. guy. Still a polar guy. Let me add polar <laughs> seltzer. That is not as not C4. seltzer water, sir. No it may be carbonated, but not. This is just water. Bitch. I, I I saw I saw a tweet the other day. I, no way I could find this again, but it was basically like, uh, it was a poll. It was it was just like you know it, you know a joke about election polls, whatever like that. We polled all these voters, and at 60%, everybody says LaCroix is the best. And then it was all these other, other brands. And Polar was like, it was in the other category. It was 6% other. People don't like it. I'm like, that's my candidate. Am I, am I, voting, for, am I voting for the Green Party? With We're voting for right, guys. Polar? Who are you got, voting for? I got LaCroix the was though. the biggest one. Who am I voting for? I voted for LaCroix. Um, it's an obvious... Choice, right? We have we have a couple of candidates that are kind of shit, but at the end they have me, a wise moose. I've I, I have like three votes so far, three or four even, maybe I, even I five. Dude, that 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 tweet by Stephen. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he yeah, did let me that. let me find that. that. Give me a, give me a sec, real quick, I'm sorry. folks. Yeah, I mean, at God. least at least bro didn't write it on the ballot because then like that's an actual waste of a vote. But then, like, well, yeah. no, no, no. It, it already screen. is a waste of the vote because the the votes that he that he put out there were all like for local elections that were running unopposed. Yeah. So it was it was just writing in oh something God. that you know. Where is this tweet? Here it is. Oh, that sucks so much. That does suck. It uh, reminds me of when people just voted for Harambe in 2016. Oh, yeah, God, man. Dude, I forgot about that shit. Yeah. So yeah, you can see all yeah, these man. people here that are running unopposed. And he just wrote in a wise moose <laughs> for each of them. That's, so okay. I currently have at least one vote for solicitor general, tax commissioner, sheriff, coroner, surveyor, <laughs> and, the, and the clerk of the sheriff, superior court. Sheriff and I believe Jake. Tennessee. Sheriff Jake. I could be oh, the sheriff. Oh, God. Len Wood, you're, I, I'm coming for you, pal. You better watch that your back. You're not so safe much. in this town anymore. There's a new sheriff in town. That sucks so much. <laughs> a wise sheriff. <laughs> the the, the, the funny one here is a guy named Richard Hawks. Everybody said, Hawk Tua, Hawk Tua, Hawk Tua. <laughs> Get so funny. But, cool. <laughs> yeah. Can we talk yeah, about man. something else? Yeah, man. Um, the election? The yeah, le dude. No, oh, my we'll God. We'll save that for later. <laughs> um, let's, let's, go, let's go into detail about this uh, the season six uh, engine fix that, that, uh, that, we, that we found. So, Quote, unquote. Uh, I'll be, I'll be. I'll so oh, be. Let's bring up no, the tweet. It's real. It's let's real. bring up the tweet. Bring up the tweet. Yeah, yeah, from, yeah. Uh, find that, fast. Find that tweet. I'm going to talk real quick because uh, I, I streamed it kind of earlier in the day, like I don't know, nine thirty or ten o'clock is when I started, and uh, uh, my first impressions were really bad. I was left v being very disappointed, and I just quit the stream after like an hour and a half because I was not having fun. But after playing a bit longer and cooling off, I realized it's actually not that bad. Uh, and the reason that I didn't feel very uh, satisfied with what I was playing is because I it was my own fault. I set my expectations way too high for what I was expecting. I wanted this engine to be perfect. It was like, they've had two and a half months after this, these, these things have been reported. There's definitely time they could have fixed it all. They fixed a couple things, but not all of it. And See, honestly, the problem is, man, you had surface-level expectations. You were like, okay, this is what I want out of the game, and like that's really great and all, and uh, I, I just want all these. These are the things that I want fixed. This is what I expect to be fixed. No, your expectations need to be below hell. Way below the iceberg, way below, way below surface level, of course. But yeah, definitely in hell, in the realm of hell. And that's not and even they like need to be there. That's not like an indictment on Epic Games or Harmonix or whatever for working no. slowly. It's an indictment on myself and main character syndrome because these are the things that are most important to me. One of the 
I'll suck my own dick even further. One of the top players in the game, where only the like only some of these things like note being had hit out of order, and uh, some some hopo bugs really only happen in very niche circumstances, and it's only exacerbated on like five or six really fast songs, like one and Beyond the Flame stuff like that. Yep. Like for now the listen, vast yeah. majority of players, they'll probably never even counter this, and if they do, it won't yeah. even be like a game breaker to. It's only a game breaker to me and maybe one percent of people who play pro, which is probably like five percent of people who play the game in general. Pro is already a super niche exactly. mode so my it's ex- so it's, few people yeah and i do so want to yeah I, I also want to say it's like yeah that's 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 totally fine i'm sure there's many people that literally you you've articulated that for, for them it's yeah. like yeah i'm pretty fucking good at the game i'm pretty good at all of these games i want the game to fucking work but also yep. i think for me and jp knows this too and maybe all you guys know it's just like adapt or lose right <laughs> Like the yep. if it's gonna fucking suck dick, I'm gonna just try, I'm gonna try I'm gonna my suck absolute it. best to I'm do it. I'm gonna suck that, that dick too. Us. Then that yeah. was that was us when if it's Master suck of Puppets dick, dropped. I'll give it a dick to suck. When Master of Puppets dropped, that was the worst <laughs> the engine had been. It was so that bad. Was the worst. It was so that bad. Was absolutely That's, terrible. Dude, I was pissed off. I went back. I, I went back to that me memory in my plus. head so many times yesterday when I was playing this. So like. It's actually still so much better than season three, Master Puppets. I, for, I remember having to do that. I yes. remember having to push down every button way before yes. I strummed it because zero coyote timing was so bad. And oh my god, it was really bad. I season never want to go back. Was hell. We can never go back. No, no, no. Florida Festival never, season three remix anytime soon. Get that shit out of here. Yeah, you we know, we've moved Sane, past it. Evan Sane made like a, like a tier list of like the um, the seasons, and he put yeah. Try, I'm trying to scroll down. Funny, he put Billie Eilish in A, and I'm thinking like. Nah, Mm-mm, not for me. <laughs> no, no, me. no, no, no. We should no. make a tier list. I don't think he I has love his Billie tier Eilish. List public, but her season was dog shit. Yeah, uh, was more time mechanics, with season six mechanics wise. A tier list. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know what? We should do this tier list live. Yeah, we should do. I, I, I'm let's saying let's do that on future. Right. In the future, because I want more time with season yeah, six. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah, it'd be unfair. Right. It'd be good, unfair for season six. Good call. We can do it like halfway through season six. Halfway. We can do it for the one year anniversary. For whenever the one year mark of the festival year. comes up, like, like that, a month like or so, I like, now, yeah, we'll do that. I, I don't want as much as we could talk about. Like, I think we did mostly talk about most of the shortcomings that the mechanic updates have been. You can see that I put up the tweet, but them like formally acknowledging, "Hey, pro lead shredders, with today's update, we fixed an issue with fret forgiveness, aka coyote time, uh, making hammer-ons and pull-offs more consistent when hit in sequence." Let us know what you think. Guitar emoji. Now it's very much still possible to hit notes out of order. Yes, uh, I literally, yes. and that literally was not this fix. Earlier. That was not this fix. To, yeah, be, to be clear, that was not this fix. This was a different fix where if you strummed and then fretted a note on a strum note and then a hammer on follows it, then uh, it would automatically miss. And Jake had documented. this. Well, it wouldn't full. automatically miss. It was just that the hopo wouldn't work. It would have to be. You'd have the to hopo strum wouldn't the hopo. Work. Yeah, yeah. You would play it properly, and it would miss. Yes, that's that's what I was it, going. It at. essentially turned um, a hopo into a strum note. It's uh, uh, like a la yes. the GH two hopo glitch. It's similar to that in effect. So that that got fixed. What is still not fixed is that if that same thing happens, trying to gain a combo back, you will still not be able to get the hammer on working. Correct. You still need to strum multiple times to get back into a combo. But they really did fix strumming while hammer ons are happening. I've been they able did. to strum hammer ons and just kind of. Just you know, don't anchor and just like kind of, yeah. If you yeah, anchor, that yeah, that's still, still don't broken. Anchor. If it, like say you're say you're playing a zig, you know, a green, red, yellow zig going up and down. If you're anchoring green and you're strumming all those hammer on zigs, you're gonna overstrum on that green every single time. So, but if you don't anchor yeah. anything, if you and strum everything, you'll hit it just fine. You shouldn't have any overstrums. Yeah, I got bored earlier playing, um, like just like just trying to figure out like what improvements there really were and i think it was like that part in beyond the flame was the ascending quad and then into the zig i was like oh fuck it i'm just gonna strum all this i, I didn't drop a combo i yeah, didn't do it should it, work i just i just fine, strummed that's it, I guess. good that's a very good thing yes. so like the the engine is feeling a bit better uh hammer on chords are feeling a bit better too i don't think i've had any bullshit misses on. i haven't really had any bullshit chords. misses on hammer on chords probably since like season four as well i haven't really noticed many uh i don't know hammer on hammer on chords are just not really been fantastic season five was better season four there were problems season three we all know what happened that fucking yeah. engine sucked dick but season six they're they're kind of tying it a little bit more together one of the things that stood out to me was uh the strumming strumming shit on paradise city is piss easy 
I don't know if it's I got used you hear to that? it. You hear that, folks? You just said skill issue. Dude, honestly, see that shit. I, Soya, I, I that, that's, a shot, I, that's a direct shot at you, it Soya. It feels better. Dude, I, hit, it feels I better. hit half of it. I hit half of it. Like, I got a minus 19, and I can't strump shit. It's my worst skill set. I was like, did I combo the first half of that somehow? It, it does feel better. I agree. It, and I'm bad. I think I only played they, it once, so I can't comment. They, I think they buffed, like, just strumming Kyle. Also, I, I found... It, they gave it a little bit more forgiveness. No, I, I think that they did. Strum. I found the method for Paradise City that works really well for me. It's kind of fucked up. I do this position on green, red, yellow. I start with my middle finger on green, and I do this. What the hell? I'm not kidding. So, so you're, you're so shifting down to anything. zeroth position? Yes. I'm not I've kidding. Never, I've never seen that. There's I only one time that, that I've ever had to shift to zeroth it. position. I've only Zero. shifted to zeroth position one time in my life to FC a song, and that was Decimate Bass on Guitar Hero Metallica GH Tunes. Zeroth? Zeroth position <laughs> is actually Below the huge green. in is actually huge in like the tapping, uh, the tapping community. Like six. Quince, yeah, it's essentially going like going this. to a, an invisible sixth fret to go up and down like that. Yeah. Oh, they, oh, interesting. Yeah, they, I didn't know that they did that. They just do this for quints, and it's free. I mean, why yeah. wouldn't it be free? You're playing at a thousand hertz. The yeah, next time you guys play Paradise City, try it like this. I am gonna try do it. that. That that's an insane. So what I do is I I do kind of some an opposite thing to you, where I use my index finger for green and also red, and then I yeah. use my middle finger for yellow. So I oh, so you did the two finger? I have seen it earlier today, and I stayed in first. Oh yeah, I feel like Stay doing it this way. Help, I feel like doing it this way helps me. Not stay on yellow for too long because it's double, double, single, double, double, single. Well, yeah, because so, it's it's, it's, quintu- my theory. it's quintuplets. Yeah. So it's it's harder yeah. to break down in your head. What what is 100%. insane is that I feel like that I was I feel like I was fretting it as if there were two yellows there, and I you still hit been. the whole thing. You there, there could be really? more. There could be more forgiveness with that. Maybe maybe I, that's maybe I really that's related. think that there's more forgiveness. I I urge you guys and listeners at home to try this out. I need more time. Um, to do Soya, it. try yeah. it out. <clears throat> So I mean, yeah, I, try I, it I out. can say from my subjective, to, I, I played it. Uh, I, I went for the FC. I think I, I think maybe took three tries, and I got the FC again on Paradise City. And I got it on second try. I also I some bullshit. I also right practiced it, I a like, lot. I, I looked at my my own video of of it, and I just kind of strummed along to it, watching the video. I, I figured out like an accenting method because I didn't do it before. I just strummed really fast. But I figured out since it's in sets of five, I'll accent. So I do the the two before and then every other direction. five. Yeah. I accent the fifth. That's and what then, I do too. And then the the second one again, I accent, I accent every tenth strum. Yes. Yeah, no, so no, you okay, go, so, you go accent so you do, down, you, accent you, you up, do, accent and down. Then, yeah. I only accent yeah. downs. So I don't accent the ups on the fifth. Oh, so really? So, d- 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 and there's five of these. So, d- 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 so you're accenting the yellow or the, or the, the next The yellow. Green? Accenting the yellow. Because okay. the, 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 first, the first yellow is a down strum, second yellow is up, third one is a down, and I believe there's seven of them, so you end on a down as well. Yeah, I would accent the green. Yes, for me, I would accent the. the I next accent step. the green. That's what yeah. I did. I played. I I did this on uh, unmodded riff mod master two. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that show more so much. I, don't, I, don't, I, I did. I have, it. Got it on, I have not got it on a riff master. I'll say that. I did. On, oh. I did on a modded riff master, and then I did on stock riff master, and I and all the FCs in oh. between. We're on Arduino. Sorry, Pico, Pico Tars, Sand Troller no, guitar. but like. Controller yeah, man, I, I, it's just like that chart. That chart is like a good way to know what mechanics are working a bit better in some areas. I love I that think. chart. I, I don't know about you guys. I think I really think it's, it's a, a I think it's fantastic. Like a lot. It's like the I best one of my favorite chart in the game. The still for me, like me too. Was. I think it's yeah. a great example song as well of, <laughs> of this new fix that uh, w- to deal with Cody timing and uh, hopos because this song is kind of. Infamous, or whatever you want to call it, famous, not necessarily a bad thing. Just some people. It's, one, a bad it's thing. the one part before the quads. The... No, not even that. It's just the entire, like, everything. There's a lot of forced strumming, is yeah. what I'm talking about. A lot of forced strums. Like, in the yeah. intro, it's very obvious. Dun, 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 dun. Like, you, like, every kind of accented strum that you hear, it's a strum. Uh, instead of just being all hopos, like you might expect, like, if it was a regular rock band chart or guitar chart or whatever. But, oh, like, I mean, I made it all, ho- I made it all hopos of mine. You know, like, yeah, there you go. So like, you charted as all hopos, yeah. but um, rhythm authors did not. They they accented they they uh, they uh, they put the, put the strums in there where it kind of felt appropriate. So this is um, I th- this fix right here where where they have the coyote timing forgiveness. So if you if you strum a note with coyote time and then the, it follows up by hammer on where it wouldn't work, it works now. 
Try playing Paradise City. I bet you that you're going to have a better time because this is something that you do kind of automatically and you don't even think about it. Like, especially in Paradise City where you're going up and down the fretboard a lot because, you know, the, the intro, you use all five buttons it's, a lot. You're going up and down a whole lot. And then if when you're going, when you're transitioning back down, so you're up here on the fretboard and you're going back down and this green is a strum, there's a lot of times where you might... Where's my armrest? There we go. You, if you're going back down, you might just strum slightly before a fret in that green. And if you did that before... That's, if if it comes up, if, if there's to, a red hopo after it, you're going to miss it. That's what I had to explain to people, like, when when Season 3 Pro Lead dropped. Everyone was going like, yeah, no shit, you have to fret before strumming. That's yeah, how you play the fucking But you game. don't no, no, do no, it every time, understand. I promise you that. <laughs> every like, single game yeah. has had this mechanic, and you've gotten used to using this mechanic just naturally. And you don't even think about it, it just happens. You don't feel like you're doing it hardly ever. But I promise you, you Finding do. Out that cut, finding out that coyote timing was 86 milliseconds on Clone Hero is my 9-11. That's a lot mm. of slop! That inhibits that so many bad A habits. lot of slop! That is you know, unbelievable amount of bad Much habits. larger you know, than you know any official I, game. That. It's pretty bad. You know what I did notice when I was playing a Pro Lead on the, uh, yesterday? Mm. I, I felt like less risky sliding between green and red for slower. So that makes sense. Like, I just felt like the game was more forgiving in general. For like small mistakes, which yeah. I think is really what this update that they made is. Mm -hmm. the, the I'm feeling I'm feeling more comfortable playing. I I, and I, I don't felt know more Jason comfortable was, too. I, I, I want to ask comfortable. Jason how comfortable he. I'm feels. sorry. I had my no, cat sit on my nuts again. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> I I legitimately just that was one of those things where I could not adjust myself on camera. <laughs> Fair. Being okay. completely honest here. Tara, Being completely hey, honest, hey, hey, man. Break the atmosphere. That's okay. Wow. I literally just had to step off camera and go, Jesus, <laughs> fuck, that was brutal. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, yeah, I, just want, I want to hear your thoughts on, like, comfortability playing the game. Because, like, I know even when, even in season, uh, season four with Metallica, they fixed the coyote timing big time. That was, mm. like, a big, massive change. And everyone was just like, yeah, that's great. But you... You, on the other hand, I remember you going, I still play the way that I did in season three. Yes. Do you feel yourself loosening, loosening up a little bit? Yes. Least, right? A hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but this is also the thing. I also had a huge issue with calibration. Like, I haven't seen as many people, I, I have seen a few people say they had to shift as wildly as I did, but I had to shift my calibration by like 80 plus milliseconds, I want to say. Like to make it line back yeah, that's up. That's wild. And you're on PC. I didn't have to do it at all. Yeah. I, I, I usually play on my Xbox Series X. But when I first logged on after this season update, a lot of my settings were reset. I didn't notice at the time. I didn't mm. notice it, but my, my 120 FPS mode was turned off. It went back to 60, which is partially why it Whoa. didn't feel as good. Partially why the game felt felt not good when I was streaming that morning and I was in a bad mood. But um, also, my calibration got reset to 00. zero. And I, I, know, I noticed that immediately because zero zero is not even close to being on for, for my sure. setup at least. So I, I brought it back to my old calibration numbers. It's fine. It, I, it worked yeah, mine felt me. okay. It didn't feel good for pad, but it felt fine for early. Definitely my pad calibration is definitely different. Interesting. Because Strange. I don't play, well, yeah, because I don't play, you know, at, on the same time as I do on a guitar controller. Sure, you know? sure. Just, yeah, I mean, after I changed my calibration, I mean, I, I was kind of frustrated on stream. It's like, shit, man. I want it to be better. Again, kind of like how you're saying at high expectations before, Jake. But after playing more with it, I feel like it was more of me needing to set my calibrations up, which, which again, brings me back to I wish the calibration game was better because there's so much guesswork right now. And if we are all struggling to understand it, when we're all... I'd say at least the top pros. 1 percent of players here, right? Like, we all know what we're talking about from being around these games for a long ass time, far too long. We're turning to dust. Um, if we're getting confused, how the fuck do casuals feel? Yeah, uh, they're very. They don't even know exists, and it's like this yeah. game feels weird. It doesn't sync up right with my sound. It doesn't bar. work. They get no perfect. Yeah. So like, why am I? Wait, they, they're like, wait, what are perfects? They don't even know that they exist. You know, because right. they never get them. Yeah, or they don't like, care about them. Jake, yeah. you gotta talk about that bug that you experienced twice, where your frets just stopped working. Yeah, so that's had that's happened before in the in the previous seasons, but I feel like it's been more frequent this time around. Mm. Where um, it was it was early on. It was the first run I did of Beyond the Flame this season. I was I got to the green strumming do, 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 that part. Drugs. It just the only note that there is is green. So I'm strumming along, and all of a sudden my green just goes away. 
It's like, wait, wait a second. I wasn't using this guitar. I was using my RetroCult mods with the LED frets. So you could see in the video that the green was still illuminated because I was holding it down. But in the game, it just goes away. So I'm strumming. I'm like, why are the notes not getting hit? What the fuck? And it just let go of my input. So I had to do this whole shit. Okay, the guitar is working. And then I got back on. Yeah. Theoretically. I, I noticed. People are yeah, saying. I noticed there's like. It's because of this. weird flushed. Flushed inputs. I don't even think mm. it's just because of the controller. I think no. keyboard and mouse plays a factor, yeah, too. Yeah, I don't think it's think just it's because the controller was on. Because there's there's dead zones on this inputs. shit, too. Lock, lock inputs. Lock inputs. Because, like, you we can set, like you can set de- dead zones on, on these joysticks, and, like, I think the default dead zone is 20%. This controller is not drifting this far. You know what? It was not stick drift that caused this. It was something else. I can guarantee you that. But there's, there's it, it happened probably small. five times to me yesterday when I was playing. I probably played for like six hours or so, getting like my, my one FC, Paradise City FC, Beyond the Flame FC. I'd say I played for six hours, and I'd say it happened maybe once an hour. Where it just there's so many small inputs. things that they could add option-wise that would be huge quality of life improvements. Like, okay, an option where tilt cannot enable overdrive, right? If you're playing on yeah. Rift Master you and you off. only... Yeah, that way you could just turn it off in-game. That'd be amazing. Um, the controller guitar turn off in there, but it should be in the game. Yeah. What What happened to the in the blog post? It said we were going to get names and song titles on screen during song. And yeah, it's what? Not there. Yeah, where's that? Something's wrong. That because I think it like didn't get pushed, or it's not. I, I wonder if it's not displaying on the correct layer. Like it's there, yeah, maybe, but it's on the know. wrong layer. Because sure, you know, game, up. games have like games have like background and foreground layers and stuff like that. And yeah, it's like much I have like a, a Photoshop that, thing. Like I think, I think the, uh... the the problem with uh, last season, where like the leaderboard stuff wouldn't show up at, after a song, I think that that was like layers, like an issue. Like it was there, you just couldn't see it. You know, I dropped this in general, but I'll, I'll drop it in our live chat as well. Uh, apparently, there's some people running into an issue where you can't see your instruments whatsoever. I hadn't seen this until mm. just oh, now. Air guitar. Like everybody in the band just playing the air. Oh, Wait, this shit. looks kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, that yeah. was a cheat code on the guitar games. Bring that back! Give this an option! No, they'll never do that. That's actually pretty cool, I like that. Yeah, I like it I too. mean, if you could just... Oh, Jesus, this, uh, this control layout. This yeah, is that, insane. L2, L1, X, U! It's like a, it's like a modern, um, it's like a modern take on, like, regular I don't guitar like that. That's controller. bizarre. Yeah, I'm not I a fan get of that. It. Whoever you are. I so get it. Wild layout. I hope they're having a good time with it. Yeah, have fun with your layout. Kirby super suck on X everything yet? Yeah. Everything. I, under- I totally suck. understand it. <laughs> cool name, man. <laughs> Kirby Superstar on Super Nintendo is a great game. Kirby super suck. That's something different. <laughs> Oof. <sighs> Interesting. Yeah. yeah she's Anyways, to, to, to put a pin on the uh, on the engine things that I was talking about before, I think it's not perfect yet. You know, the engine isn't perfect, and uh, they've no. acknowledged it, uh, but the the one real big f- uh, fix that they had this time where there's, like, the extra uh, fret forgiveness with, you know, Kaido time with a Hopo thing, on the list, like, the tier list of, of current engine bugs or issues that exist, that's probably the highest one, because the most, the most amount of people will be able to feel the difference here. Even if they can't tell you exactly what changed or why it feels better, they'll be able to tell that the game feels better because this exists. Yeah. Shit like the notes being out of order, that's pretty niche, and it honestly doesn't happen much in the vast majority of songs. It's only when things get fast. Yeah. You can force only yourself when to you're hit like at our order. level or around our level. Yeah, if, if you're actually going for a 1FC, then you'll feel notes getting out of order when, when you're anchoring and you're not tapping perfectly. You know, Or beyond the flame, when you get to the blob, you might the you blob. have something anchored or you might actually... It might get hit out of order. That's when you'll feel it. But when you're playing fucking... I will by Skilo, you're not going to feel it. Because there's nothing that fast I where will. that would happen. <laughs> Unless you want it to. You can force yourself to hit shit out of order. It's not that hard. But you have I to will, intentionally I was a little bit it. taller. I will be a little bit taller. I, say, I will be I a baller. I will be a baller. Did I, did I say I will instead of I wish? Yeah, you said I will. <laughs> no, I wish. Sorry. So Evan I, seen shit today. I wish by Skilo. I'm not alone anymore. I wish we just yeah, played. I, I will. That's like that's a crazy ass version. <laughs> I wish. That's my bad. Optimistic... I will be a little bit taller. That, that was optimistic on my mind because God. because there's a different glitch that currently exists that I didn't even know about before. This was brought to me uh, brought up to me by somebody on uh, on Twitter in the replies to like one of my long posts talking about the engine. It was um, kind of a more specific, like niche as well. But um, 
the, the I wish by Skilo starts out with a uh, a yellow blue orange uh, sustain, and then it's followed up by a red yellow orange hopo sustain. But if you let go of that first hopo s- sustain like entirely, so you're doing this. But if you let go of everything and like the sustain drops, like there was more of the sustain left, but you let go of it too early, and then you go to press these for the next uh, chord, it won't hit. You have to strum it. The hopos oh, won't no. work. The hopos will not so work. You However, to, you have to reach the end of the sustain. And then make it yes, but you can still do the same yeah. thing. It's not. It's not letting go of everything and then hitting the next note. It's not that. It's letting go of the sustain because if you if you hold the sustain out entirely, let go and swap down. After the sustain has ended, then you're fine. The hopos work if you do it quickly. You know, I, yo, I'm, it's descending. I'm, it's a it's a descending bullshit again from a few seasons ago. Remember right. that could be uh, related. I didn't even think about the yeah. descending part. Oh, that, of this. Right. that could be. Yeah. That could be. That could be. Yeah. Yeah. You remember yeah. when uh when the ha- the hopo chord on fucking uh on master puppets you had to strum it? It's always been since the beginning. When we've had issues on pro lead, it's always been for for hammer on pull It's been the descending ones, right? There was the sustain bug, mm-hmm. same issue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm assuming just extrapolate that onto chords now. Is yeah. that the issue? It, it could be related. It sounds very similar. That was actually. I, I'm also I didn't thinking think of it that way that before. They treat. I feel like they treat a, a note for as long as it sustain goes. It treats it as one like entire note, and if the entire note is nullified then the fucking hopo mechanic oh, resets that's not good. or yeah. it just doesn't yeah it just a, it, it's another one of those instances where it's like hey they nailed this in the other games and they have to redo it in Fortnite. yeah, yeah. they're probably yeah. not even like thinking about that shit or they need to be reminded of that shit because they're building guitar hero in Fortnite. and here's the yeah. thing it's just yeah. one of those thing things too, like they, they had to figure that shit out once and then the engine yeah. already existed and it was already there pretty much the, the bones yeah. were already there they were Harmonics- just building up upon those bones yeah, ha- harmonics is the are the kings of future proofing. Like shit from Guitar Hero One is most likely the same as shit we saw in Rock Band Four. Like, yeah, I mean the, Guitar Hero One overall set, general set layout the, of shit is like almost the same. Like how the game works and how it reads MIDI's. Like everything is stored in a yes. MIDI file. All the notes, all the animations, like the lighting effects, all in MIDI. That was put in place in Guitar Hero One. Sure, things have changed a little bit. They added more things, but the like the 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 bones I keep saying is the same. It's just a MIDI Milo. file. Uh, same you know, shit in the Milo engine. Getting all that Milo logic and all that shit and ad- adapting it to Unreal Engine 5 cannot be easy. Well, no. I, I'm been, not even going to begin to think about it. They would have been adapting Forge more than anything. Yeah, I guess adapting the Forge. Because sorry. it's more modern. Yeah, Milo, Milo was Guitar Hero 1 <laughs> to Rock Band 3 and Dance Central 3. But Forge is Rock Band 4 and Dance Central VR and Rock Band VR. And Autica, I guess. Forge is their engine, um, right? They created Forge? Yeah, Forge yeah. is their was their that, uh, that was their, their next generation seventh gen in, yeah. eighth gen engine I guess was yeah, is seventh that eighth gen, gen would have been Xbox three sixty four yeah, yeah, yeah so their eighth, eighth gen engine uh, is Forge and so I guess they had to just take a lot of that and I mean hey they did nail making Forge at the end of the day it was they pretty did. good at the We're end fine. of Rock Band Four's life Rock Band Four still feels pretty decent on mm-hmm. guitar I don't think I see many problems with it unless I was like really playing that game that I can really see. The problems with calibration's them. weird. <laughs> Calibration is weird. Drums felt very good. Guitar, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, like I've I full game FC Rock Band for like a couple years ago, and uh, it's a better engine than Rock Band 3's guitar engine. Yeah, it feels like Rock Band Two without a strum limit. That's yeah, about Rock as Band good Three as was too strict, and Rock Band Four kind of brought it back to how it should have been. Yeah, I watched Brady's uh, full game FC of Rock Band Four V1, and the first thing I noticed was the fucking highway transparency, and I was yeah. like, oh my god, I forgot about this. It was I so love how they That was an issue in that every up. game. Every yeah. game that was an issue. Every Rock game. Band 1, Rock Band 2, yeah. Rock Band 3, Rock Band 4. Every one of those things had a patch to increase the opacity on the highway. Rock Band 3, I think, was the worst. Rock Band 4 For sure. was not that bad. No. Rock Band 3 was terrible. Point it stands, though. I'm pretty, pretty sure each one of those games had a patch to increase the opacity on the highway. I don't think Rock Band 1 did. Rock Band Maybe 2 not. definitely did, though. I don't know. Rock Band 2 did. And if you ever Rock look Band at, like, Rock Band, Rock Band 2, Band like, now. full band on lines, and you could, like, barely see that your 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 your, your bandmates oh, yeah. hot shit, it wasn't that bad. But, like, why, though? Why can't we see our other shit? Why is it, like, at a 20% opacity slider? It's better in Rock Band 4, but all the other games. And Rock Band 3, I believe, too. Did I Bring block that shit. Our friends, highways, in yeah, Fortnite, Fortnite Festival, That'd please. So yes. Yeah. Just make That'd it an option. Cool. Make it an option. Mm-hmm. We need options, like Jason said. I'm down. Mm-hmm. Options, options, options are options. good. 
Yes. Oh, and thank you. Thank you guys for uh, uh, the progress bar. Go yes. That shit is cool. awesome. Go like it a lot. And Cannot listen, say enough good things. Listen, there was no progress bar in any game officially until Warriors of Rock. And now Festival is following by being the it, it other game better. that has a progress bar. Yeah, Should and I they're doing it better. better. And they're doing it better because there's actually times. The breaks, there's, yes. The, and breaks, yes. Yeah, they did, the they did it Rock Band Deluxe style, too. They did a Rock Band 3 Deluxe style with the mm-hmm. fucking counter. And the total song, uh, like, that's exactly what I yes, was looking I love for. It. Straight up. I love it. In, like, you can thank, any of these games. You can thank Milo Hacks and the Deluxe team for, like, perhaps directly inspiring the design of the, the Fortnite Festival. I think they did. I'm going to be real. Uh, I think they progress did. No, they absolutely did. They I think did. So, so. For sure. It's worth pointing out also that this timing, it's not just a, oh, this is, you know, quality of life. Now I can know when to... You can actually plan your overdrive better. You don't actually yes, necessarily yes, need to leave it a, look at a path. You can go, oh, wow, I've got two quarters of a bar and there's a break coming up. I'm not going <coughs> to lose it here. Like, that's I, yeah. literally, literally I did, them Jason, showing the breaks. I did that without thinking yesterday. 100%. Yes. I just did it without thinking. It's great. Oh, there's a break coming up. I'm not even going to yeah. activate. Not yeah, yeah. Activate. it's good for that's sight reading awesome. songs. It's yes. great for sight reading, yeah. Like on Larry, 100%. the new uh, one of the, the new 7 out of 7. Oh, Larry's place. S- Silly Bros 2. Yeah. Silly Bros. <laughs> It's not kind of cringe, too. but yeah, I found out lyrics? it was by uh, by my boy Big Nums. He's silly one of the silly cum, silly cum loud. It's yeah, silly cum, silly cum loud. Oh yeah, right, right. So yeah, yeah silly cum loud. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I, I uh, thought it. I thought it said silly cum loudly games, at first, right? and I was very confused. <laughs> come loudly, <laughs> yeah. come loud. loudly. No! Yes. You're gonna hear that in the raw recording. You didn't hear it here. It's oh, yeah, true. Oh, Video sorry. broadcast. That that that's that's a treat oh! for all the listeners, not you guys. You guys don't have to hear. That I did shit. it again. No, he's yeah, he's man. using Discord. Put a thumbs up in the chat if you enjoyed that. Put a thumbs down if you didn't. I won't do it again. Chat is this enjoyable? This. <clears throat> chat, YouTube commenters, chat, chat, chat. chat. We should always chat. refer to him as chat, so Hello? that the people that are watching yeah. on YouTube later, aka everybody, thinks that we're live streaming this, but we're actually not. Okay. Like, how do I watch the live streams? I, I, <laughs> I found some. I found something funny on r slash drop mix, which is where Larry's place. The song comes from. That's a drop uh, mix a drop song. Mix song. It's drop a mix drop mix song. Remix by none other. Intro. None other than uh, artist named Big Nums. And so, in that universe, uh, Big Nums is also a character in Fuser that has a. Uh, he's one of the main characters in the campaign mode. I want to say he's like the second act. Um, I didn't know the lore. Basically, here. in in lore. In lore of drop mix and fuser, he made this song called Larry's Place. And uh I guess there's a there's in the way that drop mix works is that I guess there's for some of the songs there's two parts of it. There's a post on Reddit, R slash drop mix saying, Guys, help me out here. What world am I supposed to in what world am I supposed to do with this card? I tried and tried and tried to get Larry's Place Link part it. two to work and I can't make it work. Cause the song is so bizarre. If you haven't heard Larry's Place, uh, it sounds like Death Grips. Like, it, it literally sound like sounds death like Death Grips. Yeah, you, you, could, you could definitely beat. get some Death Grip vibe from it, yeah. Like, I, I feel like it's, uh, it's like, uncanny. I think even but, Elliot was yeah, like, yeah. hey, oh, Death Grips? Yeah. He he spammed his noided emote. It was great. <laughs> it's such a weird <laughs> song. But it also makes me excited that they could put some weird shit in the game. Like, that's yeah, like definitely that the weirdest song in the game. Put uh put yeah. the entirety of Death Grips X military in the game. Just I love that Death Grips. Great. Well, the money I can't think that's gonna happen there, pal. I don't think it's gonna happen. Sorry to tell you. Uh, the money store with the original album artwork too. Oh, yeah. or or what is it? Um, Whatever the one the with one the, just where the, the dick drummer's on it. dick is on the fucking on the screen. What, what? Yeah, I'm not yeah, the that, biggest Death Grips friendly. enthusiast. I can't. I can't remember. Family it. friendly. Yeah. Oh my god. The sense of urgency. Oh, no love deep web. No love deep web. That's what it is. Yeah. No love deep web. It's fucking the drummer's dick has the name of the album written on it. Let's go. And, uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, crazy. cool stuff. That'd be one of those like um, kill 'em all album cover replacements where it's just black uh, or Dude, sorry white backer with black funny. Metallica logo on it. I'm sorry, that shit's still <laughs> funny. It, it was pathetic. Dude. It was pathetic. Bro, kill, kill them all, getting censored? Dude, There's fucking... There's no blood uh, in Fortnite. You can't have blood in Fortnite. No, this is too much. For this is Bro, too much did for we Fortnite. Not, did we not see what happened to My Chemical Romance? They just put a stock-ass photo of when they were <laughs> yeah, recording they Three Cheers. Because why? This young Gerard Way. It's because right, there's blood on the album up. cover. The Demolition Lovers have blood on their face. The, like, with it's the weekend over. Can't do as well it. or some shit. Yeah, early on, it was just a, like a picture of him, like a paparazzi photo almost. Yeah, yeah. Just, oh yeah, no, 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 well, because popular. they didn't—they didn't have the the rights to have the idol. Um, they probably didn't have like the permission from HBO 
to put oh, the that, idol as the, that's as the what, album yeah, art. Yeah, that's what it was. But uh, what was it? Montero, uh, uh, Call Me By Your Name, his ass is naked on the album cover. So cool. he's not there. It's just, I that's don't even dope. know what the fuck it is. It looks like an iPhone wallpaper <laughs> uh, for Call Me By Your Name. It literally he, does. You guys think that the, the people were completely overhyping the difficulty of Larry's place on lead because I think. Like, like people yes. are telling Jason it was really Whenever hard there's and, a seven out of whenever there's well, a seven out of seven, you gotta be curious. Yeah, yeah but the, you know, just, the hardest part is the trills. That's it. It's the trills. The trills are tricky. And it's one handable. It's it's all like handable. Yeah, you get a sets of five and transitioning between one of the trills, I think, is a little tricky. Or like I almost yeah. read FC. I had a dumb miss. Yeah, it's but, not that bad. But yeah. Oh it's fine. I will, go ahead, go ahead. It's I fine. will say, regardless of how people feel about if they did enough for the engine or how they feel about the songs general sentiments up. Like, I don't know if you guys caught this or not. Check this out. Wouldn't grab the stats for the last month of festival, right? From Fortnite G- uh, GG for players. Yeah. Here's the averages. Uh, all of season five. We are, you know, 9,000, 10,000 looks in season freaking six dropped 30,000 plus people. Average. Yeah, I, I'd like. Yeah. I'd like to see That's... day one of season five though, because we're we're yeah. it's shit's early. You know, I'd like to see day the first week. Five. Uh, it's not exactly season analogous. F- season five started. Let's see. I'm gonna zoom on in on it. Which day was it? Was that August? Even late August? Maybe that 28? was Wait, nine. August eighth. Yeah, it was like August eighth. Okay, like so that. August something. August eighth. Average players was 12.7. And then the average all day for the second was 23,000. So it's increase of 11,000. No, August 16th. That's a big bump. August 16th is when season five came out. Oh, wow. That's Uh, actually worse than because the average players. (laughs) Oh, hold on. There was 26,000 total players. Average was 16,000 at a time. So a little bit better than the week before. Uh, but still less average than the start of season six. Well, that's good then. There's a positive well, okay. momentum. You know what's funny? And what Jason just posted, look at look at October 17th. That's when you know something good dropped on that day. Oh, was that's that, was that the good dropped. week? Yeah, that was, that was the good week. That, that was, was when good Nightmare week. dropped. Yeah, that was I'm the good okay. week. Somebody Sound told me, and I'm not okay, I promise. Told me. I was like, damn, that's a big-ass bump. I was like, oh, that was the that was the crazy week when that dropped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Makes then the sense. next week after that, Thursday only only gained like 5,000 players, <laughs> 5,940 extra players. Yeah, it was just people getting on to try out the new song and see what's mm-hmm. up. And the yeah. previous Thursday only had, well, it almost doubled, I guess, but it was it was like a particularly low. Man, but beginning of October was down in the dumps. Rough. Yeah. Yeah, I I think um, yeah, beginning of October. That's when it was. Uh, we were in Texas, and that's when uh, Dynamite, Ooh. the business, and Pump Up the. Gym. I don't even think I played the business. Oh, hey, unrelated. Let's, get down, let's uh, get down to business. So Ouija just got one twenty world record again, eleven minutes ago. Holy fucking crap! Yep. Jesus there's Christ. Your, uh, there's your averages for the entire month. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, there we go. So monthly, this is monthly peaks, monthly averages. Wow, September's rough. <laughs> yeah. Wow. But otherwise, it was like relatively similar for most of the summer. Yep. Into now. But, but so far, I mean, we only have a few days into November. It's definitely skewed. This is the most hype we've seen on festival yep. since Pro Lead dropped. Yeah, since Pro Lead dropped. I can see that. Um, actually, wow. since since Carol G dropped thirty five thousand players, but it, it's like the same amount, pretty much. The the peak doesn't. Yeah, what mean the, the fuck average, happened though, in right? July, man? What happened in July? And know. then August is a backup, and then September was like, oh, <gasps> yeah. But what the fuck happened in July? That, 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 that was from forty nine thousand to twenty four. That was the four weeks, of mid. That was the four weeks, that was the of, weeks mid of mid during, during Metallica. Metallica. Yeah. Oh my god, that's actually called a fumble. Yeah, yeah, that's they, actually legitimately a fumble. Huge. It's just Holy interesting shit. that you can literally see the trends with the averages based on the music that's put out and how people are feeling about the game from this, you know? You can. You oh, can extrapolate crazy. a lot from this. Yeah. Game was brand new. December, everybody tried it out. And then in January, th- there was like hardly oh any DLC God. or support for it still. So it was just the same roster of like 30 songs in sets of what, yeah. four or five daily rotations. And they're like, this is kind of boring. We're kind of getting over this. Nothing crazy just know to do with- here. 
just know within that like within like ten thousand of these people, it's like that's us, right? That's yeah. like yeah. that's like us yeah. and like the people that our guys that, that we bring. The homies we be that's hanging like with. us. That's uh, mm-hmm. yeah. You got your man's on. No, no. <laughs> They're not gonna go that far. <laughs> they didn't mean to, they didn't mean to imply anything about that. Just saying, it's us. Oh, you know, dude, the hey, old heads, hey, listen, the people listen. have been here forever. People that used to play guitar. Se- Semi related so. though, the, in the blog post, it said, "Ain't no party like a festival party." Oh, <laughs> yeah. Bro. What do you mean by that? Thinking. Why'd you change that? Okay. What do so, they mean like okay. that? The That's Fortnite insane. gangster party line during the event, right? And they they mimicked it in the blog post. Yeah. And for some yeah, reason, Snoop and said I, it. I don't. I did not immediately go to diddy in my mind but a lot of people did and so they went and changed it's it because the of the Le- Le- lebron quote that's why Ain't no he said it on like instagram diddy live with diddy and that that's that's just where it came from o- oh. online people they see it and they say it that's why i just think back to like park and like nothing but a gangster party that's Ain't what you think right fucking, like right like that's where I go. It's too bad. It's been co-opted. It's, it's ruined. It's much like the it's much like the swastika. It's actually a symbol of peace, believe it or not. But too How bad. Did you go the from Nazis Park ruined. That's it. insane. The Nazis that is ruined. Insane. It. But no. But Jake is right, though. Oh, he's Jake not is lying. right. That's true. You're not the, wrong. It's actually but still that's in crazy. reverse. It's a symbol of peace, but it's one <laughs> of the worst Japan. symbols ever. Yeah, we actually rotated at forty five degrees, and so now it's now it's angled, and now now it's hateful. Hitting you with the history. Be careful now. Damn. Hey, vote correctly, by the way. Amen. This Tuesday. Yeah, we'll, we'll, you guys will know by then. Our, our American Maybe. Hopefully we'll know. Listeners and watchers. By the time this episode we'll 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 Let us know in the comments below who won. And if the next four years are going to be okay <laughs> or not that great. Yeah, yeah. Let us know who won <laughs> without average, saying the name. Just be, <laughs> and just, yeah. Oh no! I'm gonna I'm gonna shut my phone off on Tuesday after I go vote. I'm not turning it back on until the weekend. So oh, should we oh, even dude, stream on Tuesday? I don't even know if I should stream I don't know. on Tuesday. The, the, the Asai election gonna... day special. I'm not yeah, gonna. You know, I'll, turn into, I'll turn into Hassan for one day, bro. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I... the, the one day every four years, no. the 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 one Asai Hassan stream. That would go I'll hard. I'll hit him up. I was in an Airbnb with him at some point. What? What? Yeah, twi- in, in TwitchCon 2019, he was doing something with Austin. Um, Austin show. Back, uh, yeah, yeah, Austin show. And they were, we were, we were shared an Air- Airbnb where they were filming with Mia Malkova. And <laughs> boy, boy, yeah, it, it was on my birthday, and apparently they're streaming in the Airbnb that I was staying at. I'd go was, find the vod of me, that. And then it was me, and then when my when my friends AJ. We were like, hey, he was like, hey, we got a huge Airbnb you guys want to come with. He's like, it's only this much. I'm like, fuck yeah, that sounds awesome. And it was this really nice, like, we had this really nice, like, uh, we had like a jacuzzi and shit too. We had access to the roof. That's where the pool was. It was nice in San Diego. And this is 2019. And apparently Hassan was there with Austin, me and Malkova, and they're doing something. I, they were streaming. They were streaming. 2019 and, so, Hassan, too. That's like, yeah. he was still huge, but like not what he, he was He still today. huge, but he was like not doing what he's doing now. He was doing. That's yeah. still lover host like, Austin show as well. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Was it, a lover, it, was lover it probably host. was a lover host with Mila Malkova. Was, I'm let's, almost let's, certain time, it was lover host. Time to look that it up. Pro- it probably was. And he was, he was Austin show at that point, too. He wasn't Raj Patel still. Nope. <laughs> no, no he was not. This you is... know what? Or he might he have been just right after. Right left. after, right after TwitchCon, I think he rebranded to Austin Show. That's when I re- yeah. I remember he was still Raj Patel because he was this like, I don't like... think this is a good idea anymore. <laughs> Isn't this like right when Hassan left? Oh my god! Yeah. Had... Oh, it was the Raj Schiller show. The Raj Schiller. Oh, it was Raj. Raj. It, it was the Raj. Raj Schiller. Schiller. It was the Raj Schillerette with Mia Makova featuring ten guys. This is from four years ago. That's the one where Holy fucking Call Me Carson Link was it. in the running. Holy oh, shit! Oh my TYT god! At this point. Jesus. Yeah, this is some self lore. My bad. It's like some oh, old school shit. Schlatt, Schlatt is in this. He doesn't have the mutton chops. And he looks weird. Bruce, drop him off. <laughs> Airsoft. Wait, he's got like short hair S-fan and he looks like a wizard. normal guy. <laughs> Jesus. Airsoft fatty is in yes. this? Yeah, Airsoft dude. fatty? It what? Came between, it came between S fan and Call Me Carson, and Call Me Carson won. <laughs> what, a, what a year this was. This is January 2020. Uh, 2020. Oh, man. By the S-Fan way, S Fan is in this too. Like, yeah, S Fan, a famous rock band four streamer. You might know him, dude. S-Fan, yeah, dude, that, that stream was awesome. That was S Fan lost sick. a lot of weight. He looks yes, really he good. Did. Like he, he is almost he unrecognizable great. now. 
He's he seriously like, is like good. I think good he's for below two hundred. He he's a, he's a great streamer. His content's not really for me, but he's he he's like a streamer streamer of that. Like, he he's, he's a streamer streamer for sure. Uh, he has um, he's really good at what he does. Whenever it's football season, he uh, he usually gets deals with various Tailgates like college football stuff. teams to like go like yeah. get like VIP access to their sh- to their to their games. And uh, he just did one with uh, the University of Wisconsin, and he brought extra Emily along to her first tailgate. And it was I, I I didn't watch the stream; I just watched like the video that they produced. It's a it's just a good video. The, they're just yeah. going around to different tailgates and like talking with college kids and like th- th- they ran into the dude who runs uh, like a, a four four million follower Twitter page. It's like non aesthetic things or whatever. It's like oh yeah, I, I, we met- follow each other. Yeah, yeah. bro, look, look at good. this. Look at this that I just posted. That is the Airbnb that I stayed at. Oh fuck, we found <laughs> it. Uh, 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 go to like thirteen minutes in. They're like sitting, and then it turns. He turns around the camera like thirteen twenty. I remember this Airbnb. Yep. No shot. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. I see you. No, I, I was never on tr- on the screen. Uh, I'm joking. I didn't see it. But why were you yeah. all in this? How did you get to this Airbnb? Was this just like shared by like 15 people or what was the deal? Here? It was shared by a lot of people, but it was not cramped whatsoever. How are so you? How are you big rooms and everything. Wh- who's the connection between you and Hassan? No. It was my it was my boy AJ that knew Raj Patel because he was doing the opening show for Raj Patel at the time. Oh, okay. And this was just so TwitchCon. So you have him on. That's how I knew him. And then crazy. I, I just ended up here. Yeah, that's this is where I blacked a, out playing Mario Party. Was that's this, sick, was, man. this was a different different era of Twitch. This was a different sure. time. This was way. This is like right around the time when Clone Hero version twenty one dropped, and uh, the engine felt like shit. <laughs> The le- oh, was that the, the let the, me in? The let me in. It was the let me in. Remember Dude, that? I will never forget that day. Legendary that the in day. Engine. Literally, Alex screaming that's... on stream, let me in! Well, that, that that was also when I uh, I spoke to Dragon Force, and I, I spoke to Herman Lee. Uh, I met him. He's like, hey, I know you. That, that, I watched it was 2019 that they played like, Bro. Yeah, and that's then so uh, he was like, we licensed Trooper of the Stars to Clone Hero. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? And oh. then that's how I found out that Trooper of the Stars is in fucking Clone Hero. Oh, my that's God. That's how I found out about it is because he fucking told me. He leaked I didn't it. Know so this. He leaked it to me. And then I, I streamed the, the G Fuel booth. Uh, Yo, we got to go, find, we gotta go find Herman Lee sometime soon and ask him about what festival shit they're working on. Hey, so buddy, maybe we can do a little bit of early working? access from Hey, man. Games? Just, just any wondering. Any video games at all? Yeah. Any collabs? Talking to Epic Games? Any <laughs> Any collabs, bro? <laughs> you got any games on your phone? Mm-hmm. Any, you any games on your phone? <laughs> any collabs? You play Fortnite? In the, in the anything, on your iPhone? You're anything in, special yeah, happening on a cold winter morning? <laughs> hey, just light. saying. It, we're, we're getting some cold winter mornings now. It's November. Just mm. saying. Dude, a little bit of snow here, here the other it's day. It's an anomaly. Weird. Really? Hey, yeah, you know what? October is warm as shit. We're in a drought. It hasn't rained here in a long time. We're literally in a drought right now. It's fucked. We have to, yeah, we have I think Minnesota's been in a drought for most of it, too. Most of October. Was it? Mount Mount Fuji went a whole October. Oh yeah, no snow, no snow, no God. snow. That is not good. Not ideal. No yeah, not pretty good. sure it was the warmest October on record in like the past 150 years or whatever in Minnesota. And uh, November. Probably here uh, as well. Wait, wait. Actually, what what day was that? It was one of the last days of October. It might have been like 28th or whatever like that. It was like 75 degrees in. The late late October Minnesota. For for reference, two years ago, October tenth, we got like a foot of snow. We we got our first snow a couple days ago here. It no was snow wet, here heavy yet. Snow. Knock on wood. Nothing here. Knock on sun's wood. Been out. Sun's been out got, every day. I got a story to tell you about insane. this snow though. It, I think that was Monday of last week when you guys are watching this, this week technically for you guys. But um Monday or Tuesday, whatever day it was, I didn't look at the weather beforehand, but I, I put in hundreds of dollars of grocery orders at like Walmart and Target and also Cub Foods because I like I, I shop around, you know, I, I, I make one cart and then I, I'm a sucker for a good deal. So I shop at all the other ones, say, oh, it's cheaper over at Walmart. OK, remove from that cart, put it in the Walmart cart, etc. So I, 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 I saved money that way. But uh, I, I, I set all my my pickup times at the worst part of when it was like snowing heavy. So these poor uh, grocery store workers had to wheel out all my food to my car, and I felt so bad for them. I felt so bad, but regardless, I got twenty four frozen pizzas. Are you gonna you just do love a your bulk. tier list? What are you doing, man? You, I have a reason. Remember, remember last time I told you about my bulk purchase of soda pop because yes. it, it, oh. it was on a really good sale. 
The pizzas were on really good sale. Never seen this before. Every single frozen pizza in the Cub Foods was on sale for five dollars. Doesn't matter the brand. Doesn't matter what. So if it was if it was like a previous like twelve dollar DiGiorno stuffed crust, thick heavy pizza, whatever the hell, five bucks. Everything was five bucks. You spent one hundred and twenty dollars on pizza. That's crazy. Those are usually it was like, probably actually those are more. Usually like I tried to spend one hundred and fifty dollars on pizza, but some of them were out of stock, so I ended up getting twenty four. Crap, bro. I'm stocking yeah, up for the winter. The It'll take me forever to eat a 24 frozen pizzas. So now my I have two freezers. Yeah. I have the freezer. I you know it's a fridge with a freezer on top. And then I have my own chest freezer. It's like a not not a huge wide one, just a regular size like square. We love chest one. freezers. Yeah, okay. well, we, I love, love my, my chest, chest freezer. freezer. It is packed to the gills. I I thought I was gonna run out of space in my freezers. I almost did. Honestly, they are that's such packed. a good idea. What? Hmm. That's a good idea to go find. Yeah, uh, should find where I can get cheap at cheap fucking. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, frozen pizza. I will eat them eventually. Up, hey, you never know. I'll have them for the winter. You know, I got my winter provisions. You know, I, I'll, I'll be set for months. I don't have to it's, go grocery shopping until twenty twenty five. Straight up, look at this guy. I'll have enough that shit nice, to last actually. me for two months at least. Nice. I, I like doing frozen pizza. Tomorrow. It's also like one of those things where if you're on a survive, I, we call it survive nights when we don't want to cook anything. Yeah, it's sure. Like, yeah, we we'll throw something in the fucking oven, throw something in the air fryer, whatever. That's and when when uh you know. This is the time of the year where it gets dark and depressing and you don't want to move. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. I'm already like feeling time it today. Dude, today. The, yeah. the, the, day, yeah. the, the fucking changed. daylight savings, man. I was sleeping in my living room at like 4, no, like 3 or 4 p.m. I'm like, what's going on? Bro, I should I've... be going, I should be cleaning right now and doing laundry. What am I doing? I'm not going to lie, I've been sleep all day. I felt good. I have not moved. I felt half asleep all episode. I feel like I've been lethargic as fuck. I mean, I'm I'm kind of in the middle there too. I mean, I just want to. I wanted to talk. Well, obviously, I want to talk with you guys and about the season and stuff. But really, I'm trying to go to bed. Well, let's fucking <laughs> yeah. go to bed. We've been here for over an hour and a half. We've reached our time. No, wait, but I, wait. I have my story. We can end with my story. Yes, oh, yes. I want to oh, hear about this yes. story. Yeah. So a um, huge leak was found in Fortnite files. <laughs> no, it's yeah. not Fortnite. But a huge, <laughs> a huge leak was found. So you okay. know, my mom, my mom had injured her humerus bone, like you know, right before I came home from Texas. <laughs> so she That's funny. Humerus, get it. It, it is actually Shut the hilarious. fuck up. <laughs> Sorry, that was insensitive. So, so my, my mom usually goes to uh, my grandfather's on Saturdays and hangs out with him, takes him out to dinner and stuff. So she can't drive right now, so she's like, can you come with me? I'm like, yeah. So like, I drive. Right? And so, you know, we did that. We went to Italian food. And like my grandpa's thing is like, you know, he likes watching westerns, falls asleep in his chair. Eventually, My like, grandpa, so, same thing. So, you know, yeah, so we're there. And my mom's like, it's really cold in here. I don't want him to get too cold. He's 93. So um, she's like, can you go down to the basement? There's a space heater down there. I'm like, okay. So I I go to the basement, and I turn on the lights, and the first thing I see at the bottom of the stairs is just water. And I'm like, huh, that's not good. So I'm like, hey, Mom, come here. And she's like, what? And then she's like, oh. So I, I hear something. I'm like, it sounds like a fan is on them. So, so I, go, I, I go downstairs, and it becomes very apparent how high the water level is. I'm like tiptoeing in my sneakers. And I look to my left and I see just spraying out big time. Big oh. spray. Big spray. Yeah. So, and then I look at the wall covered in mold. Oh, it's been there everywhere. for a while. It's been happening for a while. So I'm like, like yeah, this, is, this isn't good. This is very bad. Um, That's so, not good at all. So, like, it's like, it feels like Florida weather down there, Jason, like, in terms of humidity. Ah. Like, it's really bad. You, no, get, no, no, you get what no, that feels no, like. No, 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 yeah. no, so, Yeah, that's bad. You don't want to. So, I, I'm like, I'm like, all right, we got to go wake him up. So, we wake him up, and we're like, Grandpa, your basement's leaking. He, he never goes down there anymore. He used to, but, you know, like, the stairs are a little tougher these days. So, he never goes down there anymore. So, he's like, there's a leak? And, and we're like, yeah, because his cesspool would leak a lot. It was a common thing in that neighborhood, so he got, a, like, a pump installed near the boiler, and that, that helped a lot, um, just pump the water out, and, like, from the rain. Uh, and so he, see, he, he sees the water. He's like, oh, it's not good. So the guy's wearing, like, $900 shoes. Why? And he just, he just casually walks downstairs into the water. Like, you're 93. Trudging along. You got no more. You got no more fucking. Honestly, fuck it, man. If I was 93, yeah, he doesn't care. He he's very well. I don't off. got time he, for that shit anymore, man. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So he sees the leak, and we we initially thought that it was the hot uh, the hot water pipe, and so he was like, "Oh, we need to drain the system." So I'm like, "Okay." So I, we grabbed the hose and we're draining it, and 
there's a wet dry vac down there. I'm like, let me try to vacuum up this water. Dude, this shit's filling up in less than a minute, and I have to dump it out. I'm like, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. So he has uh, something called home serve. The number's on the boiler, you know, like insurance to like come fix this stuff. And he calls them, and they're like, oh, yeah, no, can't get anybody there until Wednesday. <laughs> and he's like, Wednesday, huh? And my, my, my grandfather is incredibly talented. He's a property bidder. He's incredibly talented at haggling and making people feel bad. So on the phone, he's like, he's like, so I'm 93 years old and I have this insurance service and you're telling me the one time I need it, you can't send anybody here. <laughs> I love like, that. And the guy like, because he has uh, his phone and Bluetooth going through his hearing aids. So we can hear like really loud what's happening because it's blasting in his ears. And like the guy pauses for a few seconds. He's like, no, no sir, I can't help. <laughs> like he, I'm like, I'm, like, I made, I'm like, he made this guy feel so bad. I'm so happy that he Good, did that. Fuck him. But so we just called some, some local plumber guy showed up and, and he goes downstairs. He's like, he's looking around. He's like, he's like, he's like, we got to turn the water main off. This is really bad. Like dude, the wall, the paint had like a giant bubble. It was bubbling. It was that bad. Oh, I've seen, bubbling. I've seen pictures it was and videos like a, of that. It was, like, uh, it, was like, it was like, it was like a sack. Like it was like a sack. Like yeah, a it was sack. collecting water between the drywall yes. and the paint. Yeah. So basically, plumber came today. You know, corroded copper pipe, cut it off, replaced it with a new one. Uh, and thankfully, the guy, the guy has money. He's worked very hard his entire life, and he need. They, they keep telling him he needs to spend it so his kids get more when he when he eventually goes. But yeah, he he has to have them come in, drain the water, move all the sheetrock, you know, redo the entire thing. And, um, you know, I was sitting there and I'm like, you know, I'm like, you know, my grandfather's very well off. And I'm like, if this was happening in my basement, I would literally be having a mental breakdown. Yeah. Sure. No, and I had two leaks in my basement this year. I remember that, I that was early. one that did not happen that long ago. <laughs> Bro. No. <laughs> Bro, speaking of my basement, I opened up my basement and looked downstairs. Biggest fucking rat I've ever seen in my uh, life. Eh. Just dead. At least it was dead. dead. It was dead? Bro, it was dead. Yo, save that. You can use that, you can use that as an alarm clock. clock. I have, oh, I have a very have noble. Moves. No, I have a very noble guard down here. It's a cat. Oh, the cat. The cat. And you don't leave He's food good. down there either, so can't eat anything either. Yeah, no, no, no. There's yeah. no, no food is allowed in the basement. Period. See, my cat um, sucks. He, 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 he befriends the mice. He doesn't <laughs> care. He yeah, sucks. these these motherfuckers <laughs> are ruthless. I've seen one good. eat a mouse. Just Unbelievable like bones and all. They don't even. They don't yeah. even like get crazy with it. They just. They don't even play with it. Swallow, they don't, like, they don't, like, they don't even play with to, it. Bring it to you. They and bring say, it to us. I did a good they job, bring it Dad. To us like a trophy, yep. like a trophy, and be like, "Yeah, and we did it. Eat it." And then Olivia had to try and take away the mouse from the cat that was trying to show it off, and and like she, she was like, "No, I'm gonna bring it over here and eat it." And so she ran away, took it, and just <laughs> done. Crazy. One and done. Crazy, vomit later. I don't know. I don't whenever so. my whenever my parents' cat would do that, he would just puke not long after. It was always little bunnies and rabbits. It was never rats. We didn't have like mice or rats running around outside or whatever. It was always little bunnies. So my cat would catch bunnies and eat them, and then vomit them out later, usually on the carpet. Oh no! Oh no, bro! Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, at least these cats they go in and out of the house. They have they have flea collar call on, so like they don't they don't really catch anything. Mm -hmm. But they just kind of roam and they guard the house. I have three of them. They're very very awesome cats. We love cats. Yeah, I love I love my cat. Mm -hmm. Love cats. Cats are great. Mm -hmm. We have like one homebody one, her daughter, and then we have one like feral cat. <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> he just kind of looks at us, go, ah! and then just like runs around <laughs> the house. He looks insane too. His name's Dr. Dre. Oh. Nice. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, do nice. we get some Dr. Dre this season? Next Maybe episode. You'll find out in the next what? episode. Hey! Hey! We've already oh, done that. Oh, There's the I, second I, 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 time I, I, we've done this now. It's double manifesting. Yeah. It, it's going to happen sooner or later. Was well, your story yeah, done, yeah, JP? Yeah, is, there, is there more to, to add this before we actually cut it off? Oh, no, no, no. I don't think so. I had a good time with it. Yeah, yeah I bet you did. He's gonna be okay. Rose got money. 
Now, see, That's good. All we need, all we need, is something major to happen in the next few weeks so that we can go. You we saw, you saw it here first. We talked about the giant leak. Yeah, yeah we're gonna clickbait the shit out of this video. By the way, we're gonna say giant leak discovered. That's it. That's all. That's all it tells gonna it. be. And you, if I end up, won't. if I end up not doing that, I'll you can you can praise me for having a bit of dignity left in me. So. And oh, I, I do wanna, I do wanna talk about just super fast evil apple. Five hundred one nine. Oh my God! Yes. On yes. Oh, Jordan. Yes. Best um, score. I'll speak on it briefly, but that score is inhuman. Um, it is. and it was achieved what a couple of days ago, right? It was on like it, Friday. No, it was uploaded a couple of days ago, but he said it was October tenth. He's been sitting on this shit. Oh, he's been sitting on Damn. it. Okay. He's been sitting on this shit. So basically, just think of the mechanics of how like Guitar Hero Two works. They have been abused to hell and back. And it's been maximized to the greater beyond, and to Evil Apple an is unreal just a extent. Like this is this is the video that he uploaded as proof of his full game first place on Guitar Hero Two. He has first place on every single song with an asterisk next to it, without using the with the uh, the calibration like lag glitch because those yeah. aren't really seen as legit in the in the greater community. Yeah. You're know, still on Score Hero because I mean you did achieve yeah. the score in the game, but like. Top players, most top players don't really accept them. So the, with that asterisk in, in, involved, he does that first place on every single song of Guitar 2 on the PS2 with only three ties. Okay. 63, uh, 61 crazy. are untied firsts. What is it? The extended, hit, the extended hit window shit was only discovered a year ago, right? Oh, it was discovered many years ago, like 2019 or whatever. But it, it's well, but really... Like using, it, using it to... To the fullest extent like this, it's it's extent. been a couple of years at this point, maybe two or three. Okay, Kyle, Kyle like Ruth is the one who really, back, like, right? Kyle Ruth really, like, turned in, no, no pun intended, turned on overdrive with, with this uh, uh, extended sustain glitch, with, not no, 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 the uh, extended hit window, which we now know is, like, coyote time. Uh, it's the same thing. Same, if, you, if you're familiar with the term coyote time, that's what the extended hit window was, or is. That's, what, that's the term we used to call it, because it's what it essentially does. It extends the hit window, where you can strum at, like, the last millisecond of the 100 milliseconds you have after a note crosses the strike line, if you strum and then you can fret like within the next two frames, you essentially have extended your back end hit window from 100 milliseconds to like 140, 134 milliseconds. It's or unbelievable. So, and then using it on the hardest song in the fucking game too. Uh, yeah. It's just, just crazy. You, anybody, I'm, anybody I'm playing, I'm playing like the video ever- while we're talking and I just, I just glossed over it. It's the second activation here. That is the most inhuman shit I've ever seen. The so, second activation on Jordan. Uh, you guys can't see it, but the viewers are. So I'm going to do a play by play in slow mo about what's viewers going on and here. Listeners like you, yeah, all of you out there. Possible. We're going to go to playback speed 0.25. So what's happening here? This is the second activation in Jordan. You have a full bar. It ends on a blue orange chord at the end of the the ascending trips. Um, so normally, what you do is you activate on this hopo green. You get a nice big squeeze in that green, so that when you hit that blue orange sustain, you get some ticks from it. Evil Apple's like, nah, I don't need that. I'm going to double squeeze. So he's going to activate it on this yellow instead. Look how late he hits this motherfucker. Very late. Notice that there's no fret being held down. He strums at somewhere around here, activates, and then frets it. So he extended the hit window. What I think is insane is that he is very clearly using, he's holding down green, right, so that he can get the pull off on it. Yeah. He's he's coyote timing that yellow, right? How yes. does that green not fucking hit? If this was Fortnite Festival, that would have hit like so early. Man. Because this game is built different. They just, they this just game should is figure built it out. Differently. Yes. But right, like here, even I'm at then, the back end now. is that not in the timing window where he activates that green hobo? I don't it is. get it. it, it but it, it, there's no note skipping in this old engine, so it's still prioritizing that first note because it's still within the timing window, even though it's technically past it, but I'm, the strum was in the timing window, so that yellow still gets priority over that green. So it doesn't overstrong hit that green. So insane. I mean, like it's it would that those that really just proves that the harmonics games, the early harmonics games, were truly meant for like hit the hit the note, hit the fucking hit the note. note. Oh, yeah. You need to hit the note that's right, in front quick, of you. I'm at the back end here. So yep. this is the, this is the final bit. Frame perfect. This is the frame that he hits. So you can watch the score go up by 800 points because he hits the hits the chord. Exact frame. This was a frame perfect squeeze. You, there will be no slop. I don't think you could have. I don't think he could have activated one frame earlier and hit this. I don't think it's possible. No, that that the, is un, that is an you, unbelievable. This activation. squeeze has never been hit before, until now, as far as I'm aware. That's legitimately unbelievable. I kind of want to try it. 
I, and see how close I can get. I'll probably you get won't hit it. not even that close. You won't hit it, especially yeah. because this back end, it's not just strumming early on that blue-orange chord. It's because if you would strum early on that blue-orange chord, like we were talking about before, it will prioritize that orange hopo before it because you're strumming during the time window of that orange. So you really have to do like a double or even a triple strum at the end here yeah, to, that's, that's, to he really guarantee, yeah, to really guarantee that strum. those hopos insane. are being hit. He's doing a triple strum. He strums the blue ho- blue hopo and the orange hopo into the blue orange. Uh, mm-hmm. Because that's the only or- way to guarantee that those are out of the equation. So that when you when you strum the actual note you're trying to squeeze, it will hit the note you're intending it for. And he still gets the solo F activation too. Yeah. So this we're not that done here. So this the, the next activation is on solo C. And b- well, I gotta show everything here. So we're just gonna watch oh, the yeah. entire video you, you again. Play by play. You guys right, aren't right. watching it, but the 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 the, the, the crowd is so. This I I, I got to go all the way back to first here because you got to look at the the whammy he gets because this next activation solo C activation requires perfect early whammy to get because you get ticks it's not just squeezing it's uh, a yeah. you're squeezing in a sustain and also letting that star power go a bit longer when that sustain has already started so you get extra points from the ticks the points you gain from the sustain so this first note he is early whamming the shit out of and then uh, to the next phrase that he hits he early whams the shit out of this one too like. This is hard. I kind of overstand how you, fucking you hard this is. You frame by frame on that one, too, and you can Literally. see as soon as he hits the note, the, the sustain is already glowing blue. It's already starting to wiggle a bit from the whammy. It's like there is like, no missed crazy. frames whatsoever. This is like seriously almost a frame-perfect human run. And and like like J Prez gave me the rundown on how to get like good early whammy, and that shit is hard. It ain't that easy on Guitar Hero so 2. I can imagine. So, it is so hard on Guitar Hero 2. At like, this point, he's gearing up for the next one. I'm going to cut you off entirely. Yeah. He's gearing up yeah, for no, the no, next no. early whammy. So he's preparing by hitting every note before that early too. So really, he's already like hitting everything really early so that he's ready for the next one. This is the probably the, one of the, the biggest uh, early whammies there is, this next one here. Because hitting this one next, the, the, the blue-orange, the orange sustain, you have to hit that blue early as well because it's the, the orange follows it pretty closely. So like if you would hit the blue on time and immediately That's go to that though. orange... The grace note, the orange grace note, you are already hitting that too late for perfect early whammy. So you have to hit the blue before it early and then the orange early as well. And then you have to hold that shit out all the way before you transition back down to the blue to start the, the fast bar, uh, fast part. Light. And you have to... Actually, he didn't really even squeeze that hard. He got a reverse tick on the on the front end. If you slow this shit down... That's he, insane. I didn't notice this the first time I saw it. So he has X14, and then he activates, gets to X22, and then X30. He got 16 points of reverse ticks on that activation. That's not something I expected. I fully expect him to try to squeeze the shit out of that first one so he gets more ticks at the end, which he does it, do. Wow. So, yeah, it's really interesting to me. Like, I just went through random timestamp. Around, like, 341, like, he, like, anchors green before hitting the red and then activating star power. Uh-huh. Oh, wait. I like, know why he did this. Yeah, why did he do that? No, I'm talking about something different. I'm talking about the anchoring here. I the the, the um, not anchoring. I'm talking about the um, the one I was just talking about the the solo C act. So I figured out why he went for reverse ticks instead of regular ticks. It's because uh, regular ticks in Guitar Hero Two, when you when you when the when the star power ends on a sustain, you don't start earning the uh, the ticks from that sustain until it's already at the strike line. So if you're squeezing a um a sustain, you can hit that note really early. You get the points from hitting the note. But you don't get the extra points from the sustain until it right. crosses the strike line. So by you by going for reverse ticks, you're actually guaranteeing that you're getting you're because there's no there's no delay on on getting those reverse ticks, but there is a delay on getting the regular ticks. So that's why he went for reverse instead of regular. It's just a few extra points for free. Yeah, he could have probably got eight more, but then he's still two points away. But that's not the only one. Dude, that's why 502 is such a big deal. It it just comes down. Well, okay, now that we know that the second act is possible, everybody used to think that it was just down to ticks. And, like, it kind of was until, well, EA proved that you can hit that second activation. Mm -hmm. Because that was kind of like the, that was kind of like the one that was, like, tasked and shit. It was like, "Eh, maybe somebody can do it one day. Maybe. Yeah. But ticks are more what we're relying on. And that's kind of like, that one's kind of insane too. Yeah, like and now and like now I'm at the solo up. F activation where he gets more reverse ticks because if if you would activate if you would squeeze on this green, you might overlap because this ends yeah. right before a star power hits. You yeah. you would overlap it. So you do you do want to do this early already, but normally when people are just going for the FC, they just activate normally. 
They don't squeeze it, they just activate on the note because it ends perfectly right before the next phrase. But he's getting reverse ticks here. So he's at uh, X56 when he activates and he gets up to X90. So he gets 30 or, yeah, 34. That's not right. It can't be. 58? 34 isn't divisible. Whatever it is. He gets 90. So you get some reverse ticks there, and then this, this activation is going to play out. And then now, now we're into the weird part, probably where the, the, the timestamp is, where JP was talking about maybe. getting That's probably the yeah. outro one. So this is in the weird one. Is the outro. Okay, I'm before the outro. I'm in the... Where there's the double greens and then the, the, the hopos. Yeah. So this is really tough, too, because he got all those reverse ticks. So you do actually have to squeeze in this final strummed green. So And this is weird, too, because you have hopos involved. And when you're strumming hopos in this game early, sometimes it just overhits. The, the game isn't perfect, so it overhits a lot. But, like... I don't remember exactly how he did this. If I turn on audio, I could probably tell you. Do you strum all that shit, or do you just hit shit early? Find out soon enough. Are you talking about in the bridge? Oh, he did do a little... He did a little yeah, a quick a little, little strum. He did a little triple strum. Yeah, because otherwise you might get... You get fucked, and it, it might hit the, uh, the, uh, the hammer on instead. So after this bridge piece is over, this is a pretty standard activation. Nothing too crazy here. He just has to... Squeeze it normally and not overlap the next one because this also is not a perfect word where it ends right before the next phrase. So I actually had to hit that really late because he activated a bit late too. But this last yeah. squeeze is also a double. Very, very hard double squeeze. That double is fucking ridiculous. And the fact that that can get hit without doing extended hit window is also insane. Yeah, and he does do extended hit window, but it's possible without it. It so, is very possible without it. It is so hard. Much easier than the second so activation that we were just talking about. Theoretically, yes. they're they're roughly approximate in terms of like how much you need to squeeze was, and stuff like that. But there's say, more. Like, it's more note dense on the first one, so it's harder to hit the back. Yeah, do, doing the last activation without extended hit window is like the same difficulty as doing that second activation with extended with it. hit window. Yeah, that pro that's probably yeah, fair. It's that's probably very fair. hard. It is very very hard. If you want to watch somebody hit the last activation. With uh, without extended hit window, Jay presses the old score. He does it uh, without extended hit window, and that shit is still insane. That score is still one of my favorites to see. Um, but it is so awesome seeing new mechanics like drop for fucking Guitar Hero Two, and then yeah. seeing it used to its full potential. That's now what I live. And now that I'm watching the cool. back end of that final squeeze, that final double squeeze. Another frame perfect. He hits that shit right as Star Power runs out, and he gets that plus four hundred from hitting that under Star Power. This is That's a so perfect impressive. run. This is art. I'm not even being. Um, I'm not even being hyperbolic. No, I this agree. Is it is art. This is it, this is like the, almost equivalent to like a Super Mario Brothers five. What is it? <laughs> this is <laughs> yeah. If you guys watch speedruns and watching speedrun tech what evolve, it? it's the same type of shit over here. It really it's is perfect. Yeah, is that guy Nifsky? Nifsky? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. He does a. Uh, he does fucking. Uh, he did Super Mario Brothers, um, four fifty four or something. And it was like, everyone was like theorizing, that's like kind of the perfect run for Super Mario Bros. Oh, yeah. It's very similar. Very similar stuff. Guitar Hero squeezing and score chasing is very kind of similar to speedrunning. It's just yeah, uh, yeah. In small Way improvements. Way more similar to speedrunning than like going for an FC on like Clone Hero. GH2 squeezing, I think, is very extremely similar to like, like yeah. speedrunning. And GH3 for that pull, matter. You're pulling off so much bullshit in a run that you don't think anybody would ever do. But no. hey, if you're capable, you're capable. And you're a and, beast. And Evil Apple is apparently capable of this shit. This is seriously That's almost very... inhuman. I'm not, I'm not calling him fake. He, def he definitely did it. I'm just saying he is literally built different than the rest of us. Evil Apple is yeah, no. one it's of, if not the demon. best squeezer of all time at this point. It, it's up there between him and Kyle Ruth in my mind. Both of those people are yeah. two legitimately demonic. Demonic, demonic squeezers. Don't get it. But yeah, I, I'm glad I'm glad I brought that up because I almost forgot about it. You're Me like, too. is there yeah, anything I else you want to talk it. about? I was like, no. Hey, bro, Jordan, five hundred one nine ninety. Yes, if five hundred two happens. I'm getting We'd naked. On we would be remiss to miss. The, what are you doing now? What Get naked on Instagram? Evil Apple, you have a new. You have a new goal. You have ten more points to get, and then you get to see cock. You get to see Akai cock. Walking balls. Evil and apples balls. for evil apple. Go 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 go. That's you get insane. to see a size evil apples if you know what I mean. That's and the crazy. eggplant. And the viewers and are getting blue balled with this episode ending. <laughs> this is. <laughs> yeah, we can end it now. My 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 audacity's been recording for two hours now. We got a long one on our hands, folks. Yeah, mine oh, is just girthy boy. Yeah. We got a long one I'm and a girthy boy. Not even talking about a sigh either. We're talking about the episode length, guys. Get your mind out of the gutter.
<laughs> Alright, bye guys. See you next week. Bye! bye. Ho- ho- hope, th- hope, th- hope the election went well. We don't know yet. Yeah, we don't know! <laughs> <laughs> La-di-da-di-da!